Y'all ready to start the show? Yep. I got a pre-show question and everything. Since we Same just rolling, thing. we can oh. just keep... Can I get some water, dude? Mm-hmm. You got some water? I got it. I'll take one, too, if you can. King got a big gulp. They're not cold. I'll, that's fine. I love room temperature. <clears throat> <laughs> I'm for real. Yeah, I, 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 can't I, I can't lie. I can't lie. I love it too. No, I like water. Water. room temperature water. No, I want to be able to drink. I like ice cold. cold. That's nasty. Nah, yeah. It take too long. <laughs> what do? What? I have an ice, ice cold. cold. You can't drink as fast as you want to. Shit, it's, it's gonna like, be hey, refreshing right. as well. Right. Right. Know what you mean? <laughs> no, it hurts. <laughs> right? No, no, it is refreshing. I'm like, oh goddamn, it's too cold. You thirsty as hell? You don't want to drink no ice cold water? No, you rather have warm water? I want the room temperature. I want to be able to drink as much as fast as I want. Hell no. What he said? Give me the ice cold water. Ice cold. Hell, it gotta be ice cold. Y'all are tripping. You. you can't drink ice cold water quick. It'll you can't. <laughs> I'll be killing that shit. Right. I might not be able to breathe, but I'll be killing <laughs> See, who are being uncomfortable? You drinking water. Hey, niggas be choking drinking water. <laughs> Just because you want it to be cold, you be choking like a wall. I, <laughs> I still enjoy it, God damn it. We keeping all this water stuff in here, but mm. question I did have because Bad Boys Three is coming out this week. Mm. The question that's been floating around want? the internets what is which want? sitcom was better, Martin mm. or Fresh Prince? I oh. just want to know. They asked that on the Breakfast Club. Which one do y'all prefer and why? Like, which one is your show, Fresh Prince or Martin? Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Mine was Fresh Prince too. I love Martin though, <laughs> but if I have to choose between the two, I'll pick. What Fresh I said Prince. was. I, I stuck with Fresh Prince because for me there was more monumental moments in Fresh Prince that I can remember than there were in Martin. Martin it was Martin more so was a straight a, a comedy, laugh, sitcom, straight comedy. Yeah. Whereas Fresh Prince, you kind of grew with him. Yeah. Oh, like, so a and lot we of were things, at an age too where yeah, growing up, the same shit. Exactly. Fresh Ish. Prince is more relatable <laughs> right. than Martin is. Yeah, very. So, As an adult, and it was still mm-hmm. fu- some funny ass moments. Uh-huh. But he had some iconic people come through. Granted, Martin did too. I was like, everybody was on Fresh Prince. Everybody was on Martin. Yeah, everybody was on Martin too. I just miss black sitcoms, and that that's why I love Blackish because Blackish do be bringing back a lot of people. But like, it was just always fun because you never knew who's gonna pop up mm-hmm. on a black sitcom, and there's always someone you knew. But it was just like it was a lot of them at the time too. The fact that Martin had Biggie on the show still blows my mind. It's one of my favorite episodes too, when yeah. Gina was singing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, as an adult, I recently, well, not recently, I should rewatch him again. Mm. I rewatched Fresh Prince and Martin. Okay. Fresh Prince is strong, man. It like, is. It's, it's, it's a really funny. good show. Mm-hmm. Like, even like, it's not just because it's a black show, quote unquote black show, but it's like a really. And Carlton like, got funny show. as each season. Yeah, he did. He definitely did. Eric said, nah. No, I said, yeah. Oh, I was, I was like, damn. Nah. I was like, like Carlton, man. <laughs> the episode where they were skiing, when they was uh, going down that snow ramp, and it was. Uh, shot to Carlton he was like skiing down the mm. ramp all good and Will was sitting there like fighting for his life that's when I, I was like Carlton is it man Carlton is it but yeah let's uh let's get into the show Don't tell me. You forgot me. <laughs> to episode 133 of Technical File, the sports podcast. You okay, thank you. I, I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> yeah. It's your we, boy. We, we riding this we'll shit. We'll keep on rolling in. T-I-M. <laughs> K-I-N-Z-D. Number three. Shut your ass, Millie. <laughs> A-K-A. Ass catch him. A-K-A. Mr. Give it to me. We rolling, baby. <laughs> I am the Air J. Oh, Only shit. known as the Air J. I'm Camille Point Guard of the crew, the real life Tifa Lockhart, the girl next door. You know, holding it down for all the women who love sports. I'm um, an Insta Boy K Harris, the gentleman. The, the gentleman. gentleman. The everyday gentleman. 24 7. But better known as K Diddy. Take that. Take that. Jabroni. You can also go ahead and find us on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 there, buddy. Said WWW. Hold on now, partner. Slow down there, buddy. Hold on there, He's now, partner. He's <laughs> Look quick on the draw there, guy. Uh, hey, hey. Don't make me Get coming on Willy Dilly. Hey. Get coming out on Willy Dilly, guy. Put your arm McGraw. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't mind if I do, don't <laughs> mind it. <laughs> Anyways. There's w- a snake w- in w- my w- boots. <laughs> <laughs> that motherfucker almost bit me, that fucking critter. Anyways. I had water in my mouth that whole time. 
<laughs> you can find us at oh www.technicalfile.com. Don't forget to put the K on that motherfucker. Also, you can find us on Facebook, Technical File Podcast. You can also join our Technical File Pod Overtime group where you can join in with the fans, fam, and listeners. <laughs> also, Shit, my bad. Instagram and Twitter, we there too. At Technical File. Get at us. <clears throat> Shit. Um, like I say every week, man, if you guys enjoy being a part of this amazing Technical File fam. <laughs> um, <laughs> ah, shit. Um, share with everybody, man. Share with a coworker, um, your mama, your daddy, your granny, everybody, your foe, friend and foes. <laughs> share with everyone. Everyone I like. It's a new year, so we got I'm I'm gonna give me till next week to come up with a new um idea for y'all um to take videos and share. All right. Hmm. Okay. Let me sleep on it for a week. I did send mine in. Yeah. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah. He did. The Eric J did his part. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you? Did you do your part? Send it in. You saying yeah? You asking me like <laughs> you did? No, I'm yeah. talking to the people. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, go ahead and shame them. But yes, <laughs> you send it in now. Do it right now. They don't know what you're talking about. They're exactly. like, what? <laughs> you said next week. You jumping the gun here, buddy? <laughs> oh, you're trick on a draw. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, you quick draw McGraw. McGraw. I used to love that show, dog. Quick draw <laughs> McGraw. That was the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, wherever you find podcasts, you can find us. That includes Apple Podcasts, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Google Podcasts, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Stitcher, mm-hmm. 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 SoundCloud, mm-hmm. SoundCloud, Spotify, Spotify, <laughs> iHeartRadio, uh-huh. Himalaya, like like Himalaya, Himalaya, Hushka, Hushka, and wherever you find pod- I mean, wherever you're listening to this mm-hmm. podcast right now, um, while you're there, make sure that you like, subscribe, rate, review, all that good stuff. Five stars are better. Um, it helps us, and we appreciate it. Appreciate you. for sure. We appreciate everybody who has listened or. Er, I said, listen, we appreciate y'all too, but definitely everybody who's reviewed the show. Mm-hmm. Definitely appreciate that. It helps us so much. Um, no events to announce? Not yet. Nope. We Not hope, to my knowledge, at least. We hope y'all like the new <clears throat> theme, though. Yeah. We will say that. We hope you enjoyed the new theme. Got a little oh. bounce. Did I bounce? Hopefully your bass wasn't up too loud. <laughs> They're like God damn <laughs> <laughs> Tech file what y'all, want? <laughs> y'all gotta warn me next time Shit <laughs> Didn't expect all this <laughs> Shout out to Breaks Media For dropping uh, Blessing us with that Indeed Shout for out sure. Breaks but, uh, Media Production <laughs> <laughs> But uh Since we got nothing new to do uh, Let's talk about What we've been missing We've been going for a while it's We got a lot to talk long. about Oh, speaking of which, while we were gone, like shit, half the podcast was sick, and then two days later we were gonna come back in and record, and the other half was sick. Exactly, that was bullshit too. (laughs) That was wild. I was like, I I wasn't even around them. They got me sick. God damn it! (laughs) Niggas got sick through a group text, right? Like sick. sick (laughs) 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 It was a lot of people sick. Even uh, everybody. George Hill was out. He had uh, the The Packers. The Packers Packers players was out. They had the bug. I was like, dude, just some shit. That's why Brian Bullock didn't play this weekend, but. Well, matter of fact, let's just let's talk about the playoffs. Let's do that. Playoffs. playoffs. <laughs> Good ass games, dog. Yeah, Who are you telling? It's, you know what's wild though? It's been Sam good. had a point. She was like, of all the playoff games, she was like, of course ours would be the most boring. I was like, no, mm-hmm. nigga, this has been der- nerve wracking. And the she was like, was but think so about it. Stressful. She was like, of the entertainment value of all the games, she was like, this San one, Francisco, huh? Ma- uh, Minnesota, want that entertainment. <laughs> Oh, no, Still, that that's definitely the la- That's definitely number four. Yeah, it wasn't. It, it wasn't was a lot of fireworks. Oh, wait, shit. breaking news: mm-hmm. Luke Kuechly retired. Damn! What? Wow! Damn. I love Luke Kuechly too. Damn! That put. Damn! Dang, that's a big Damn. loss. Damn! That's the soul of the defense. Mm-hmm. Just gone. Shit, Cam might be gone next. It's gonna be a whole new franchise. That is, that's a whole new team. Ron gone. Yeah, it's gonna be behind. I mean, run CMC, go be the face. They ain't got no... Yeah, you got to stop tapping, They ain't got no bro. choice. <laughs> you making me nervous with My that. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Just kind of... Kinda you making me nervous. <laughs> so, Anywho. weekend started with San Francisco and uh, Minnesota. The boringest game of the weekend. Yeah. Can I have the, uh, the ox court, please? Stop. You know what? I thought they was going to um, put San up a Francisco fight. San Francisco won 27-10. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I thought Minnesota was going to put up a fight. You overthought that. I think you when had... it was 10-10. Yeah. And now, I don't know. I was, I don't I was know. okay, because their defense was playing well. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> <laughs> San Francisco the, was San I Francisco. I mean, their line is ridiculous, dog. Both Both lines. Offensive and defensive. Like, dog. Just, they, they just overwhelm you. Mm-hmm. Like, they just beat on you and beat on you until they just overwhelm you. And then you just be like, what the fuck? 
Yeah, it was. Sorry, Minnesota. It was a nice little run. I was really hoping for an NFC North rematch with the NFC Championship. Game. I wasn't. I was hoping we didn't get that game. I was hoping we did. I want to see the same game three times. Like. I want to go to the Super Bowl. I'm right. So I'm like, I don't even know. Damn, what you talking about? I was trying to go and kick their ass again <laughs> and go walk into this chair. <laughs> I don't give a damn what right. y'all talking about. Right. Because he would have showed up that night. Mm-hmm. Right. 40% of our listeners thought the Vikings were going to win that game somehow. Hmm. I think that was just wishful thinking. Yeah, it was more so like, we're going to put this in atmosphere. <laughs> Tim was one of the 40%. I was. I was wishing like a motherfucker. <laughs> Did not want to see San Francisco. And here we are. Yeah. Anywho, it's gonna be fun. Tennessee defeated Baltimore. Mm-hmm. That was Shocker. surprise. Twenty eight twelve. Now well, we're not gonna say. I don't want to step on Ken's toes because mm-hmm. I know you're gonna talk about the Lamar aspect of all this. But mm-hmm. I mean, we can go there now. No, no. I want you to have your moment mm-hmm. and the sun. <laughs> and the sun. <laughs> it's called a tease, ladies and gentlemen. Mm-hmm. But yeah, what were we talking about? <laughs> oh, Baltimore. <laughs> Baltimore. <laughs> <laughs> My fault. Where the bell at? Forgetful much? Jesus. Um, I was sitting trying to look at polls. No, nah, I was work. Pause. <laughs> Personal. <laughs> Tell us. Might see some in the mail, mail. Mark. <laughs> You rusty, dog. <laughs> Hello. No. Nah, mm-hmm. Nope. He didn't. Anyways, so <laughs> I was I was worried because uh, Lamar Jackson celebrated a birthday the week before, mm-hmm. and he posted a gift that he got from Drake. I was like, God damn it, Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta <laughs> <fuck> <laughs> <it>. <laughs> I ain't gonna throw that out there. I'm just leave that alone. But damn, this motherfucker. Yeah, he can't, he can't keep it. Except up. for the one time I actually need him to curse some shit, and then Toronto win the fucking title. Yeah, yeah. That's fuck Drake, man. <laughs> that's why. Hey, listen. That's why I was on Hell that shit. Dog. I just started listening to his music again. I've been thankful. <laughs> I've been thankful. <laughs> <laughs> I've been thankful. <laughs> Because I was on hiatus for a minute. That makes no sense. <laughs> I was on a hiatus. I don't know why y'all was depriving y'allself. Shit, me neither. But um, <laughs> who the fuck is going to stop Derrick Henry? I don't know, but just to go back to that. Uh, he running like he played for his life. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Contract. Ta- I know. But I'm talking about like literally like dog playing. Like, yeah. It's like no into tomorrow. situations. <laughs> and the ma- so he used to dress in college too, dog. High school. He's all- he's under his whole life. Yeah, dude, Been that beast, big. Bro. Like that's a big fucking back, dog. I would have loved to see him against the Legion of Boom. Wasn't that him who stiffed armed that dude so hard he made him he turned him into a lead blocker? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> that was Earl Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, not Earl! It was Earl. That was Earl, Earl Thomas. Earl Thomas. <laughs> that, he stepped on that much. I was like, Hall damn, Earl. Earl. He hold that yeah. man and turned around. Like, hey, you block now, bitch. <laughs> like, Earl Thomas yeah. start pushing what him up the field. <laughs> Wow! He hit that man so hard. He forgot who he's talking. He was like, "Shit!" He was like, "Oh shit!" He threw his hands up. Like, I don't know who gonna hit this motherfucker. It ain't gonna be me though. He took that nigga on the ride, dude. Oh my. Man, that was Earl. I was like, fuck. That's funny. Though. When I saw that, I was like, yo, did he really get turned completely around? <laughs> turned him around. And he literally started running with that man. <laughs> That's embarrassing. I ain't getting that nigga away again, bro. Not at all. I'm good. I'm good. Where his memes at, dog? I ain't no memes. <laughs> Y'all got somebody making a meme right now. That, that shit's going to be hilarious. Man, Y'all had Chris Paul and shit all out of space. <laughs> right. This nigga out of space, too, shit. I was like, damn, Earl. <laughs> I hate to see it. That's funny. Oh, damn, yeah. It. Twitter 2010 would have had a Man. field day. No, exactly. Do y'all believe in a Drake curse, though? I do not. Man, not since Toronto won. <laughs> Can't. Fair. Okay, that's fair. And it was on us. Uh, <laughs> that a bitch. That's what I'm saying. Like, the one time we need this right, shit to that's come through. That's why I was off with this nigga for a while, bro. I, was, um, I guess when it's not authentic, it'll fail. Dang. Know, that was deep. I see. That was a bar. Okay. I'll see you. I remember what you said later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll catch it on the rewatch. Right. <laughs> you going to text me tomorrow like, hey. That was me. <laughs> okay. okay. I felt okay. it. <laughs> Kansas City defeated Houston 51-31. That was a wild game. The jokes was flying at Duh. first. Because I'm like, I'm Houston sitting there thinking was, like, oh. I was like, no, they busted me. Right. I'm right like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, okay. It was 24. I'm like, JJ Watt back. I'm like, the, the defense decided to step up and shut. I'm like, okay, cool. Cool. They scored quick. This motherfucker, Pat, was like, all right. 
Cracked his neck and shit. Let's go. We ready? It was Andy <laughs> Reid. He was like, all right, let me pull out the real playbook. Right. Kelsey was, was like, all right, bro. Everything that you thought could go wrong like, went wrong for the other team at the wrong time. Like, it was wild. Like, that second quarter was some of the craziest football I have ever seen before. 28 points. It was amazing, though. I think in nine minutes or some shit like that. It was fun to watch. Wild. Like, Just wild shit. Oh, man. Definitely and be like, fun to watch. Man, so... Kansas City's fire. I think power. Kansas. I think I believe Kansas City scored like three times in like four or five minutes. That's like, all it was mm-hmm. quick. That's all I was saying. I thought it was like twenty eight points in like and nine minutes. Of game it was some time. Some crazy yeah. shit. Because yeah, they was getting fumbles and it was man. So yeah, finally, I found it. Sorry. So mm-hmm. this whole time I've been looking for Derrick Henry's high school stats. Mm-hmm. Tell me why this man his senior year. Oh, I'm, I'm seeing these. These names. Wow. Forty two, sixty one. That's the number of yards he had in one high school season. 13 games. <laughs> 9.2 <laughs> average. That was 4,000. Per carry. 4,261 4, 4, yards. 13 games, bro. Wait, wait, wait. How many touchdowns do you think he had? What 62. Fuck. How many, how many did you think he had? I'm sorry. That's like, I'm going to say 40. 4,000 yards in high school. 55 touchdowns. I was close. 55. In high school. In high school. Running back. <laughs> That's give me the ball just move. <laughs> bro, like, don't right nobody want to hit this man. About it. He, look, Look what he did to a future Hall of Famer. Like, Bro. imagine what he was doing to like little white kids yeah. that's 130 pounds. Like, Damn, like, dog. That's a lot of yards. He can't yard. do nothing with the, He runs so upright. Like, he don't, he don't even care. He don't he even so care. Upright. Hit me. That's like that hard to do on Madden, bro. Hit me. He's like, doing it. He's doing them in real life. Like, I said, 327 yards per game as a senior. For his career, 252 yards a game. In all four years, 12,000 yards. 153 touchdowns. 12,000 yards in high school, <laughs> He was bro. a traded player, bro. Like, his in worst season, he had 26 touchdowns. 12,000 yards a freshman. in high school? At, like, 14 years old. <laughs> he was a running. freshman, bro. You oh, ran 12,000 yards in high school <laughs> as a freshman. <laughs> <laughs> he probably put his ass on the other side still and still had him playing linebacker. How much you want to be with a two-way player? Like, I want to say something about them giving him 462 carries this senior year, but more than likely he wasn't getting hit. So it doesn't matter. Yards in high school. Damn. I don't even want to play them. Like, what? Like, what? Shit ain't fun. I'm quitting football. Fuck this. Like, bro, just get the ball and go. Like, like, that shit ain't fun, though. Every game, bro, you just know he's just working out. <laughs> you know what? Let's move on from Derrick Henry because you. <laughs> oh my God! You no, always know Kansas he's City ain't out. stopping that motherfucker. I can get damn guarantee you. He finna have a. He might have three hundred. Oh well, before we get there, talk about Green Bay defeating Seattle, twenty-eight, twenty-three. I forgot how stressful. Russ. Oh shit! That mother- the good thing about like not caring was. about football, but still like rooting for Packers. All that stress is gone. <laughs> like, I was like, eh, I don't really care. Like, at the end of the day, like, if Packers lose, I ain't got to watch football no more. So it's like win win for me. Hey, <laughs> that motherfucker, Russ, though, dude was. First dude half, was a, first half the Packers did a great job. Yeah. And Russ was trying to be this little pocket passer, and I, I get it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Halftime, Pete Carroll must have been like, be you. Like, you know, they can't stop no scrambling quarterback in Green Bay. Like, we have history most. here. Right. <laughs> like, they definitely pulled out the. Uh, What's the name? The Kaepernick, the Kaepernick playbook? <coughs> Dog, that motherfucker was moving and grooving. And I just kept having nightmares of just years <laughs> past of scrambling quarterback, black quarterbacks killing the Dog, Packers. Dog, I mean, and with black precision. 20 with 27. I'm like, what the fuck? With 800 yards rushing. Like, come on, dog. <laughs> they was putting up Derrick Henry numbers and shit. No, <laughs> like, it's, it's scary as fuck whenever Green Bay got to play a black quarterback because they be slicing and dicing our shit. But it was... It's only half of one left. Man. Oh. And he got to deal with the man child over there. Dude is ridiculous. The man child. Dude, bro, he'll probably get on defense and play defense too if they ask him. Yeah. That but motherfucker yeah. there. But yeah, Green Bay won. It was a good game. Um, Aaron Rodgers had himself a great game. He made. He trusted people. He, he had some dimes. That was the first game I've seen him actually trust somebody in a long time. First game I've seen him seem really comfortable in that offense because he wasn't getting these plays off in like scrambles. He was getting these plays off in the pocket, mm-hmm. like within the scheme off his of the foot, offense. Every play. I'm like, damn. Dog. He was set. Like, I was in there like, <laughs> okay, Aaron, in the pocket. Duh, in Jimmy was. Okay, so <clears throat> there was no way to tell truly where that ball was. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was. <clears throat> 
past the first down markers where it was. <laughs> past the first I'm just saying, for those, like, because it's a lot of those Seahawks fans, like, oh, we got cheated. Listen, where he landed was right at the marker anyways. Mm-hmm. But there was no way to actually tell where that ball was after that. The line judge saw it, and he got it right. And you know why he got it right? Because that yellow one on TV is not accurate. It's not. It's usually a yard ahead. And it, it was ahead. Like, <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> fell right at the first down marker. Mm-hmm. And what? he didn't fall down before that because he <clears throat> rolled over his body, and his elbow is the first thing that came down. Now that we have a new controversial finish to a playoff game in mm-hmm. five I mean, years. Really wasn't a yeah. I'm ahead. just saying, go like, ahead. now that in the go Twitter ahead. sphere, like, ahead. now that we uh-huh. have it, mm-hmm. and five years have passed, Des Bryant caught that ball. <laughs> he did. We all know that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm just saying, like, I'm, will, I'm willing to, that I'll concede like, that one out. Like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, we all, I always said the same, like, he, he yeah. caught it. Yeah. Like, I was but, mad the, but the way the rules were written, he ain't catch it, which is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. But, Fuck him. He but, didn't catch that bitch. <laughs> he caught him. He caught him. He caught him. <laughs> I was trying to find uh, this clip of Marshawn, but I can't seem to find it. <clears throat> oh, my, all well, over shitting, Facebook yesterday. Well, he was so. uh, spitting his real shit. Marshawn is the realest, man. Mm-hmm. You know, I thought that was kind of cool, though, that he was like, you know what, I'm on my way out. So, I'm still drops because he, ah. he, while he was out, he's probably seen these cats. So, Marshawn's press conference, they tried to ask him questions, and Marshawn decided to give... A speech, which Marshawn does not normally do. So, here go Marshawn's thoughts. Marshawn, how would you describe your in the three games <coughs> here? I was solid. Four touchdowns in three games? Pretty solid. <laughs> What's going through your mind right now? Shit, we lost. <laughs> Come back next year? Um, shit, we'll see what's happening. <laughs> yeah, so look, I say like this, though, right? It's a vulnerable time for a lot of these young dudes, you feel me? They don't be taking care of their chicken right, you feel me? So that's money for y'all, didn't Or if I had an opportunity to let these little uh, <laughs> know something, mm-hmm. I say take care of y'all money, African, because that shit don't last forever. Now I done been on the other side of a retirement, and it's good when you get over there and you can do what the fuck you want to. So I tell y'all right now, while y'all in it, take care of y'all bread. So when y'all done, go ahead and take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. So while y'all at it right now, take care of y'all bodies. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Don't take care of y'all chicken. You feel me? Don't take care of y'all mentals. Because, look, we ain't lasting that long. Um, you know, I had a couple of players that I played with that, you know what I mean? They no longer here no more. They no longer. <coughs> so, I mean, you feel me? Start taking care of y'all mentals, y'all bodies, and y'all chicken. For when y'all, you know, ready to walk away, you walk away. And you be able to do what you want to do. But I appreciate it. Thank y'all. y'all have what was it like to go see Aaron after the game? Bro, shut the fuck up. <laughs> right, he was, no, <laughs> like, like, he was done, said, bro. <clears throat> he said his piece. You should have let him walk off like that for once. Shut that, your ass. That was a sermon, though. That yeah. was a beautiful yeah. message that everyone can listen to. Because <clears throat> yeah, I, I fuck with it because he was like, I'm going to be me. You know, at some point he was like, you know what, fuck it. Let me go ahead and just get this off my chest real quick. Mm-hmm. Let me just go ahead and say mm-hmm. something. Yeah. And it, like, I guess it was one of those. If I'm gonna say something, I'm gonna say something meaningful. To the young, to the little, yeah. yeah. That's what's up. That's, and that's why a lot shit. of people respect Marsha. Yeah. Like, still, like I was watching uh, uh, last week's game for mm-hmm. Seattle, and mm-hmm. after he was getting hit, <clears throat> it was still players still like like tapping him on the back, like hey, yeah, 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 like out of respect type shit. Everybody mm-hmm. love Marsha. Yeah. How can you like, not? Exactly. Like, if the you hate world him, is better for shit. yeah. Sports world is better when he's in it. So yeah, <clears throat> like. He tried to light a blunt with the the <laughs> eternal flame at uh, <laughs> the Raiders oh, Stadium. Like. He is wild, bro. <laughs> Just wild, bro. Like, like tell why he had like he <laughs> used to drive around with like the little partition, like the velvet rope, like mm-hmm. for his uh the Ferrari and Lamborghini. Like one of them, like when he would part, like he would pull it out and like put it around so nobody would touch his car. No, he. <laughs> That's, Marshawn. that's like the re- realest nigga in the history of professional You sport. know how real Marshawn is? That's, that's the loudest that. I've ever heard Eric laugh on this show. <laughs> <laughs> and only Marshawn could do that. Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> only Marshawn. But uh, anyways, conference championship preview. Let's do Tennessee, Kansas City first. Who you got? You know what? I'm going to go with Tennessee. I'm going to go with Kansas City. I think their luck's about... Uh, you know what? Ashley, think about Derrick Henry again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Tennessee got a good defense. They do. Yeah, I'm going to like they got a defense to compete with that you know offense, what? but they don't have the speed. Like no, that's the, it's that's, a track meet with them. That's Kansas City's thing. Like Duh. if they get into a track meet, if they can just run. You can't. Yeah. 
12,000 yards in high school. <laughs> this ain't high school no more. Well, they they work. 200 yards <laughs> in the NFL. <laughs> and they going to be in 500 plus in the last what? three games. Th- three straight at 180 plus? And he did it against Baltimore's defense. Kansas City ain't got nowhere close to that type of defense. Derrick Henry might get 300 yards. Derrick Henry's going to run that game and run them to he the might, championship. He might get 300 in the loss. Ah, we'll it, see. If, if, if it's yeah, a track it, meet it, on it offense, happens. it can. It's a track meet, and I'm going to put my money on Kansas City because I'm with Patrick Mahomes. They don't got the bodies on defense to really stop Derrick Henry, though. But they got Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, the boy's good. <laughs> He's you only think one side offense. of the ball. Yeah, like. I'm just saying, but yeah, y'all think it's one side of the ball, too. No, I'm, I'm saying, like, <laughs> if your defense saying, is I'm bad, just, the <laughs> offense is going to be able to keep putting up points that at least mm-hmm. stay, you know, keep it competitive to a certain point. That's why I'm saying, like, I will trust them in a track meet. Mm-hmm. Well, man, this is going to be a good game. It's gonna be a great. I'm, game. It's gonna come going, down to time of possession. I'm going with yeah. the defense. Like whoever can, yeah. Like so y'all both going. Can I'm going Tennessee. Both going Tennessee. I'm half, going Kansas City. Half black quarterback. Shout out to Snow. He the only um, Tennessee Titan fan I know. Oh, for, for real. sure. Really? Yeah. He loves like like Ever since like Eddie George, Steve McDermott. I used to be a fan back then. That was his favorite football player. Shit. Oh, he was hurt that when they came up a yard short. Yeah. No, he, <laughs> yeah. He was hurt for real. For real. I had a I had an Eddie George jersey. Anyways. I remember when them jerseys came out, like, those were the coldest. They yeah, were yeah, the coldest. Cold. Cold. Them and the yeah. Buccaneers. Yeah. yeah. They were cold. It was cold. They both held on to them for way too long, though. Green Bay, San Francisco. Rematch. Yeah. Packers got smacked yeah. earlier yeah. in the yeah. <laughs> So, I think we'll have a shot <laughs> if our defense shows up. I don't think it'll be like the last time. I don't. I don't think it'll be a blowout. I know that they learned their lessons. I feel like we'll be able to stay in this game if our defense can keep us in the game. Because their defense is ridiculous. But I will say <clears throat> that um, I think that us – no, I, I understand why everybody is saying that San Francisco is going to win. Mm-hmm. I and completely it makes understand it. And it's I'm possible. not mad at anybody who thinks San Francisco is going to win mm-hmm. because they should win. Yeah. I didn't expect to be here. <laughs> Mm-hmm. As a Packer fan, like to be in an NFC Championship game, like didn't not in the cards that I saw. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. I don't really care what happens on. Like I'm gonna care. Like I want to win, but everything from this point is gravy. Yeah, like this has been a successful season. You know what? If Aaron continues an upward trend with his play, we we got a shot. I think that we're gonna win on Sunday. I can see it. But I can also see but I'm also the other fan, side. So that's, that's <laughs> yeah, so that's not a real prediction. I don't... <sighs> I'm going Green Bay though. Of okay. course, I'm. <laughs> I'm actually going Green Bay too, and I have something that I, I'm not gonna say. It, I can't say. Wait, it. what? You, Go ahead. You got something to say about AD or something? No. Go ahead, say it. Um, if Aaron Rodgers continues to play how he's been playing, um, Packers gonna win the Super Bowl. Oh, interesting. I'm speechless. Say it with your chest, Will. Right. <laughs> right. He kind of whispered that out. <laughs> Unfortunately. So I don't want to see it, but I think it's going to I feel like it's going to happen. It's voodoo for a Bears fan to say that. Mm. Uh, <laughs> I feel like he's just trying to jinx us. I mean, he's, just gonna, he's been conflicted this week anyways. You know, AD showed up oh. in Green Bay. How did that make Packers you feel when you saw Anthony Davis? I mean, it didn't make me feel bad. I was like, damn, he would. I was like, the Packers, bro. Like, come on, man. But Wait, so he a Laker. So you had that side of it, but yeah. then you a bear fan. So you had that side of it. Yeah. <laughs> he just didn't like it all. No, around. they was just like, conflicted. And it's AD. I was like, then he brought yeah. multiple Lakers with him. Like, bro, y'all wallet. <laughs> like, Cold as a bitch. Oh, what? <laughs> Y'all they were wearing all bro. the heavy coats. Y'all wallet out, bro. Have a seat. You know how long his coat got? You know how tall that man is for that coat to be that long. That was a big ass coat. <laughs> the coat was probably ass. as big as you. <laughs> probably <laughs> like, shit. Big ass cold. <laughs> it was cold as a bitch up there. I'm like, y'all motherfuckers out oh, there. Wow, bro. <clears throat> I was yeah. like, Packers ain't that serious, goddammit. <laughs> we got two Green Bays. What, 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 I said Green Bay. You said Green Bay, two, three? Yeah, I don't care. Green Bay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck them. I don't care if they burn. I definitely mm. want to see a Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers Super Bowl because. So does State Farm. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I bet they do. Oh, they yeah. don't catch. And honestly, probably the NFL. The NFL yeah. would love to see their two faces. Yeah. The first, no, the first Super Bowl yeah. in the 100th year. Oh yeah, damn. It was Packers Chiefs in the first. That's Super Bowl. crazy. And they could mm. have it in the 100th year. All the history they could tie into that. And the NFL is good at bringing up some history. Exactly. Dog, the video Unless packages would be ridiculous. Then they don't care. <laughs> but you know, actual football stuff. They're yeah. great. You know. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We will. Uh, Giannis get away with a chicken wing and a walk. Mm, I'll mm. take it. 
Hey, speaking of about time, Packers. Former speaking Packers. of chicken wings. I'm going to say, who got chicken wings? <laughs> yeah. oh, that's exactly where I want to go on my team. Let's talk about some NFL hirings. Mike! You going you gonna to take these? Sure. You just... Okay. I'm just saying, they got Mike. Dallas hired Mike <laughs> McCarthy as their new head coach. Called it. If it's... Knew that was happening. McCarthy spent the night... <clears throat> Some things took place at Jerry's house. Wait. I guess I don't like that. <laughs> well, here you go with the bullshit. Right. Okay. Did it get us off Wait, let me, let me read it verbatim. <laughs> McCarthy spent the night at Jerry Jones' house over the weekend. Mm-hmm. Period. Yeah. You had to do one thing. You said doing things. I'm just saying. What? I said he spent the night. Jerry Jones probably has a, a huge mansion, bro. You thought they probably kicked shit off? You thought they was in the same bed? Exactly. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't imply that at all. In bunk beds and shit. I didn't imply that at all. I just so much room for activities. They set up Anyways. Netflix to kill the motherfucker. Hey, listen, I don't know what the fuck they did, but whatever they did, they had a funky good time. That's what you, you Any- post a bomb you with your next head coach to make sure. You I don't know right why you trying to vilify me. I just said some words, bro. All right. <laughs> I just said some words. Bro. <laughs> Dallas was interviewing head coach candidates before Jason Garrett's firing was finalized, which I thought was hilarious. He well, actually paid for his job, but he like his contract was up, so. He didn't technically get fired. He just didn't get re-picked up. So, like, they was, didn't have to make a move for him mm-hmm. not to be the head coach anymore. He was begging, though. I'm sure he was. Like, who wants to get let go? When you get begging to the point that it make to the media that you begging, you on a whole different level. Of <laughs> he was on his hands and knees. He was on some James Brown. Please, They're like, you're out of here, buddy. No, but I'll give him one more chance. <laughs> please. No, nah, bro. Nah, ain't you no, know, ain't no, ain't no begging in listen, the world. Listen to James Brown. Please, please, please. Like, listen to that now. And you and listen to how he was begging, and that was Jason Garrett. Like, I, <laughs> you need to understand the depths of the begging I'm talking about. Like, that's wild to think that you would be able to come back. But he can get off to offensive of coordinator. I mean, he made it this long. I don't know why he would think otherwise. <laughs> it sounded like they didn't want to necessarily Jerry get rid was, of him. Jerry was conflicted. <laughs> Jerry, they was just like, bro, just let him go. Gotta go. <laughs> Jerry in the back home. Oh! <laughs> Reaching his arm out for Jason. Um, anywho, well, fuck it. <laughs> I couldn't go because I wasn't leading it. I was just. Anyways, um, <laughs> good hire, actually, I think, by I think Dallas. that was a great hire. Yeah. It is, he, McCarthy will come in, he'll turn him around. He's good with quarterbacks. Mm-hmm. So we'll see. He, his coaching staff I, it leaves a lot to be desired, but we'll see. Because they got Joe Philbin, who's their defensive corner. It's somebody it, that used to be a head coach, right? In Dallas right now? Mike Nolan? I forgot. I think it's yeah, Mike I think, I think Nolan is coming that way. But the, he... So here's the thing with Mike McCarthy. I just want to say it real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think a lot of Packer fans... Uh, forget how good of a coach Mike McCarthy can be. Mm-hmm. We won a lot. The problem with Mike McCarthy is that he started believing in his own hubris and he thought that it was his system and not the players necessarily that made it better. And then when he figured out, oh, shoot, I need better players, Ted Thompson was like, you ain't... So, like, you know, <laughs> like, what, what are you, you going to do here? Like, <laughs> you ain't going to get what you want to get. So I think it was just a thing where he got stale. He mm-hmm. just didn't innovate. Like, it was crazy because I remember watching games a couple of years ago, and I'm like, dog, we doing the same stuff from 2011. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's trash. Same like, scheme. It was Defenses simple. are sitting there like, we've been defending this for mm-hmm. a Sweep while. left, sweep right. <laughs> Play action here. All right, all right, Check here, down. Here come the slant. Here come the slant. <laughs> slant. But, yeah, I think Mike's going to do good in Dallas. So I just wanted to say that. Oh, the screen, too. I'm sorry. I don't know. Like, he didn't, like you were saying, like he didn't really adapt to modern times. Like, the mm-hmm. game... It seems like by the end of his Green Bay tenure, he like had passed him by, mm-hmm. and I don't know what he was doing this last year off. He spent He's, the whole year dissecting football. He said he was revamping the way he thought, and everything. Opened his mind, oh, okay. And he had a coaching. He actually had a coaching staff, and they oh, were sitting them? together like in. So just a whole bunch of unemployed motherfuckers <laughs> <laughs> getting money. <laughs> plotting out how they finna get this hey, money. We waiting for our. They plotting out how they get this the, money. They knew the shot hey. was coming. I and mean, Dallas is a great team for Mike to fall into. He gonna, sure. get, he gonna get somebody who'll spend some money. Like I think that he'll bring to them, he'll bring them a baseline of confidence, which is an underrated. Like it sounds backhanded, but like that's an underrated thing. Like people always go for like the highest upside, and sometimes it's like just getting like a solid program in place mm-hmm. is important. He'll like put mm-hmm. a good one in there, not to cross sports, but like the Ursan Ilyasova versus DJ Wilson thing, like. Yeah, DJ has more upside, but, like, Ersan just knows where to be. He knows yeah. what to do. Like, he keeps stuff moving. Like, that stuff is important. Like, like it's not flashy. It doesn't show up in the box score. But, like, that's important to a team and building a culture and building, like, building, box of su- building blocks of success. So, like, stuff. I think that he can bring them that, whereas, like, Jason Garrett, it just seems like 
the inmates were running the asylum. Right. Shit mm-hmm. just kind of went by the wayside. Yeah. So I might could bring a detail oriented organization in. So it's a good one. Um, Carolina hired former Baylor head coach Is Matt Hayes. What? That's Hayes. Hey, 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 Hayes on, on the, the court. Hayes on the Bucks. Uh, oh, what's up, Hayes? Jackpot shot. Oh, he showing sure his. Hold on. Ask him for money. Oh. Turn, you got the volume on it? So the fans. So Hayes so, is on the shout out to uh, TZ Talks, Talks podcast. podcast. He Hayes is on the screen right it. now. My sound ain't working. Sorry. Oh, his sound ain't working. Was he went. He going oh, for the half court half shot. Court he shot. going for it all. Oh, right off the front of the rim. You almost had it. You almost had it. Dang. Damn. Someone tweet. Good try, brother. Someone go on Mm -hmm. TZ, uh, the group right now, and say something about Hayes. That was close. It was close. That was close. Uh, Sorry, Matt Rule got hired (laughs) uh, as head coach for the Carolina Panthers. Seven years, sixty million dollar deal with a six million dollar buyout. They had to pay Baylor six million Mm -hmm. to get the coach. Yep. So really, like sixty six million. And then uh, news today is uh, Joe Brady is going to be. He's going over there, so he's. Joe Burrow's offensive passing coordinator. Yeah, I think he he sets up the passing plays and stuff like that. So Whoa. he he was a big reason why Joe had the season that he had. Mm-hmm. So yeah. he came from the Saints. So now he's going to Carolina, I believe, to be their offensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. So that was a b- big pickup for him. I was wondering where he was gonna go because I was like, Joe's going somewhere. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> he's going somewhere, and I wouldn't be surprised if he'd have went over to Cincinnati, but. Say uh, The New York Giants, they hired uh, New England wide receiver coach Joe Judge as head coach. All right. Who the fuck is that? I was like, who the fuck is Joe like the Judge? the receiver? The wide so- receiver coach for New England is head now the coach. head coach. What the fuck? How you going to play that? Oh, this shit don't look weird to nobody? Nobody. Oh, God, fuck so all, it's all these other head coaching candidates. And it's you, like well, you hired, it's like way more. I would have picked up all wait, motherfucking Lewis. You didn't hire a, did a defensive shit? coordinator. Oh, you ain't hire an offensive coordinator or a quarterback. You hired the wide, wide receiver, receiver coach for New coach. England. He came up like what a receivers? <laughs> what receivers? He came up like a motherfucker as the head coach. Right. We get it. Wow. Good luck. Not to defend him, but Mike Tomlin was the special teams coordinator before he was the head coach of Pittsburgh. But that was his direct job. He was a special coordinator. I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> he was a coordinator. Wait, wait, wait. He was a court. He was wide receiver and special teams coordinator for New England. Fuck that shit. <laughs> wow. Wide receiver. Like I disagree with the hire. I, I'm not defending. I'm just saying like he could have came in and had a great interview. He we came don't know. In his press conference, trying to be that hard coach, like yeah. we're going to mm-hmm. hit nah, this pad that we're going to hit, and I'm like, Rough all right, tough. like everybody put on pads and hit. <laughs> but we'll again, like this is the third, at, at least the second, maybe third straight hire that has been uninspired, and it's the same type of dudes coming in to the Giants. Like, like what the fuck? maybe look at the person that's hiring these these guys. Like, it, it doesn't inspire confidence to me. Like that you keep hiring. The same guy that same keeps coming guy. in saying the same exact thing mm-hmm. and getting the same exact results. Yeah. So like we're going to be right back here good. in two years exactly. introducing the next <clears throat> head coach of the New York Giants because, mm-hmm. like, you motherfuckers don't want to ha- get a new wow. GM. Wow. Yep. Anyways, uh, Cleveland hired Minnesota offensive coordinator <laughs> Kevin uh, Stefanski. Is it Stefanski? I thought it was Stefanski. Stefanski. Yes, Kevin Stefanski uh, as their new head coach. So, congratulations to Cleveland on his, that. We shall see. Again, speaking of nepotism, he <laughs> is the son of the Detroit Pistons GM. I believe so. Like, so it's yeah. all, it, like, they're all connected. Like, it, it, it's, it's not about what you know. It's about who you know. Man. But at least he was an offensive coordinator. <laughs> Kirk Cousins had a decent year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, he put up some decent numbers. I so, mean, I can understand. Had, there were also... Dalvin Cook had a good year. Wait, wait, wait. There were also lots and lots of complaints from their wide receivers about them be, being unable oh, to get yeah, them the ball. Oh, yeah, the offense yes. was uninspired. Oh, yeah. But they had one. Jarvis Landry ain't going to complain. It'll be the other one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> if he there. And uh, finally, Washington will reportedly wait until after the April NFL draft to hire a new GM. Yeah, that makes sense. Because the Jets looked so great doing the same shit <laughs> just last year. What, yeah, whatever, what so. the hell is they... I don't, I don't understand know. it. It's the same shit. It's madness. It's sickening. Okay. Some people might think this is sickening. The Lakers. Right. Sorry. Well, One last NFL thing. Did y'all see the Michael Vick documentary that's coming the out? 30 for 30. 30 for 30. Yeah, I was, oh, yeah, yeah. When is that supposed to come out? 
don't know. I'm, uh, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's this year. Or no, like it's, it's this year sometime. I, believe it's, I believe it's. I no, I believe it's I'm soon. Ready. Yeah, I'm ready for that. Oh, yeah, I'm going to definitely catch that. And we, I thought I saw like January or something, but like I was like, that seems too quick. No, I believe it is this month. Oh, for real? Peter go come back out in full droves. Man, they should drop dog. Preemptively fuck Peter. Dog, I've been on that way for a minute. Yeah, ESPN announced Thursday that. The 30 for 30 titled Vic will air in two parts. Part one will be on ESPN Thursday, January 30th. And part two will air yeah. the following week, Thursday, February 6th. That's what's up. Mm. Set my DVR. Yeah. For sure. Provides a comprehensive look back at each chapter of former NFL quarterback Michael Vick's saga. The incredible rise, the shocking fall, and the polarizing return. Watch this shit sound like some real Willie Beeman shit. <laughs> <laughs> like for real you go get the the fame the jewels he be improvising plays and shit it's so gonna like, be some real willie beeman-esque yeah. shit like we, we apparently just missed like the anniversary of that coming out and like i was trying to find it because like plenty of people did like retrospectives on it and i'm like man that was a good ass movie i want to see it. it like it is nowhere to be found on streaming services so oh, Netflix, 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 really? whoever hulu whoever damn get on it we got the dvd at the crib i think it's on Actually, amazon like, prime my like, 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 on swear, the like, I, I, thought I, I swear I saw it on there, but... I know I looked mm. like a month ago. Speaking of GMs. Lakers GM Rob Palenka agreed to a contract <laughs> extension that also added vice president of basketball <laughs> operations to his job description. So now he's two things. <laughs> well. Ain't that Magic Joe? Ain't that Magic Joe? <laughs> that <laughs> sounds like Magic Joe. Ain't that, ain't that what Magic said? That Rob was trying to get the whole time? Maybe the whole time. It. I mean, he got it. Ain't the that, whole time. Ain't that what I Rob mean, he got, got AD, so... He's been doing it. I mean, good. LeBron got 80. We, have, we yeah. have LeBron on your team. You have a pretty uh, good assistant GM. Name mm. Rich Paul. Uh, <laughs> hey, dude, he out here Keep doing what you're doing. Everywhere, dog. <laughs> Keep doing what you're doing. I love it. Cleveland head coach, John Beeline. He apologized to cash players. Why do, you have to, why do you have to apologize? Because he said that he meant to call his players slugs. Not thugs. <laughs> Why would you ever want to call somebody a slug? That don't make no damn. I want a slug unless you refer to them like being sluggish up the court. That's what he. Yeah, that's, he that's what he tried. That's what he tried to say. He said that he cleared the quick. <laughs> he said the team was no longer quote playing like a bunch of. Oh, wait, that's the second part. He thought that he <laughs> said slugs as in slow moving that we weren't playing hard before and now we are playing harder. He meant it as a compliment. Yeah. And I mean, the players like, feel that way. Yeah. Like, uh, it seems like all of them apologized. I mean, now, all of them accepted his apology. Um, like, he apparently has been calling them slugs, like, the entire time. Like, uh, Colin Sexton. He's mm-hmm. like, yeah, he calls them slugs all the time. Like, he just says that <laughs> we're slow and, like, we need to speed it up. So, mm-hmm. oh, God. so then, like, cool. it does sound like it was an actual slip of the tongue, but it's also, mm-hmm. like, why was thugs, like, on the tip of your tongue in the beginning? You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel you. <laughs> I feel you. Say Mm. So then, that, that's close. That's like if I tell my wife to close the door and then I actually say, accidentally say, "Oh, close that you hoe." Like it shouldn't be that. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> you in there with? Oh, okay, I mean, I'm just saying, like <laughs> dough and hoe. Like you know what I mean? Like it, it, it sounds too close. <laughs> like almost fainted. <fate> <laughs> yeah. I would never. Like I'm not gonna get away with that. Like, I can't like, make mistakes like that. Like, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> but it don't, like. I get it. Yeah, I, get, like, I can't make mistakes like that. I value thing. my life, sir. I can't make mistakes like that. You would think he would think the same way. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah. See, it yeah. makes sense. Yeah, it, does. It, does. It, it does. It does. That tied it back in yeah. for me. The joke tied it back in <laughs> for me. Uh, Cleveland forward Kevin Love, he was fined $1,000. That is nothing. Nothing He's at been all. He's wilding <laughs> out, bro. He'll give Throwing a fuck balls enough. at motherfuckers mid-game. Team. He got fined for yelling at the GM, uh, Kobe Outman, and he also asked for a trade. As Trey, Tim he said, he's been, he's just been wild. He's been wilding the fuck out, bro. When I Pout, seen that pouting clip, up the court, he was at taking the block. his time, throwing the ball. I was like, give me the ball. Give me the goddamn ball. And when he got the ball, he just flung it. He just flung that ball. At teammate. His teammate was like, oh, oh. He's like, oh, shit. Oh, god damn. What Kevin, what's going doing? on in this one? <laughs> right. I'm, I'm sitting there like, what the fuck is wrong with dude? He's trying to, he trying to get out of there. He's trying to get an Oscar he on his trapped. way out. <laughs> I don't think acting out is going to get you nowhere in the quicker. <coughs> and though you say to your kids like that ain't gonna make no like that don't, that don't exactly. help exactly and he gonna want too much money too you better chill out you already he got, already got it. yeah <laughs> that's the <laughs> problem like they they were like we trying to get rid of you nobody wants your first price you wanna buy out oh he's still old like 80 million or some shit like I think he got three years I left think, I, think I don't like know 90, how much I think 90 it's, 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 it's a nice chunk it's a of change that's a nice that's chunk. why like people like, like, oh Portland need to make that deal it's like do you that's you locked into that team at that point like 
I wouldn't. They got to get you there. <laughs> Just them. So, like, while all this was going on, right, um, like, he, all his pouting and temper tantrums and mm-hmm. cussing out the GM and undermining the coach and all that stuff, mm-hmm. um, Bill Simmons thought it was wise to tweet out, when someone willingly signs a long, lucrative long-term deal with a dead-end or rebuilding team, then 15 to 18 months later pulls the whole, I'm unhappy and I want to pay for a contender card. We should just call that the Carmelo. As in, Kevin Love is pulling the Carmelo right now. First of all, you what? dickhead. Like, Carmelo never did that. Like, no. the, like the whole thing was Carmelo would not waive his no trade clause. He, he kept his money, nowhere. stayed yeah. in this spot, and a lot yeah. of players, like LeBron, then was trying to get him from there. <laughs> like, But no, he signed his lucrative deal and stayed. Like, I'm assuming he was talking about the Knicks, like, re-signing with the Knicks in 20-whatever, 20, not 2010, but 20... 14? 14? I think it was 14. 14, 14. Like when he could have gone to Chicago or he could have, mm-hmm. oh, okay, you know, yeah. like, like that time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, maybe he's talking about like Denver, but like Denver wasn't re, like he didn't re, he re signed with Denver, but like he was approaching free agency yeah. and he was trying to get to New York. Mm-hmm. So at no point did Mellow. Mello do this. So like, I don't, like, you just want to drag his name through the mud. And it's yeah. like, That's for what? Be. That's no weird. Reason. Because I was trying to think, what player did do that, though? There was another player that did do that. Somebody like, everybody to... assumed, like, Carmelo was going to do that because he, like, he wanted to get the most money possible, and then mm-hmm. he was going to pout his way out. But he never did that. Like, he yeah. wanted to stay in New York. He liked his life mm-hmm. in New York. So he was his family in New York. You're yeah. right. Like, like, he reluctantly waved it to go to LKC. Mm. And then you see what good that did him. So No good at all. Exactly. Uh, since, Thursday of back. Last, <laughs> since Thursday of last week, the number one, two, and three in women college basketball all lost. That was Damn, UConn, Oregon, and Oregon State. The Arizona State Sun Devils actually knocked off both or- Oregon and Oregon State in back-to-back mm. games. Mm. So they got to be number one then. No, I believe it's uh, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Don Staley. Yeah. So, yeah, I just want to throw that out there. And also in college basketball news, Marquette did defeat number 10 Villanova, 71-60, and Wisconsin also beat number 5 Ohio State, 61-57. I was like, oh, Wisconsin. Marquette's been a little losing <laughs> since then. But, you know, yeah, we did. We they so them. volatile, dude. UWM <laughs> beat Green Bay. Yay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, no. It should have been just crickets. It should have just been like, all right. Mm-mm. We got we to gotta show some love. It's still Wisconsin. Man, you know, it's Wisconsin. I'm a hometown team. I'm a fan. Yeah, hometown team fan. Hometown right. fan. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Like the Admirals? I ain't. I fuck with the Admirals too. If they win, you know they from Wisconsin. I fuck with them. Even if they lose it, they from Wisconsin. I fuck with them. Okay. I hear you. I'm the same way. Shit, we had no choice. We had the damn Bucks and the Brewers for a long time. I've been yeah, I've been a Bucks fan for too long to judge anyone else. And the Brewers, that yeah. Uh, Let's talk about the college football championship game now. LSU defeated Clemson Mm 48-25. And. uh, Joe Burrow is so fun to watch. I had a tweet that I wanted to tweet, but I knew y'all was going to tweet me like, pause, pause, Mm -hmm. pause. I don't want to even say because Cody going to be like, pause, (laughs) pause, (laughs) pause. It's a pause-free zone right now. (laughs) You get a pass this time. You get a pass. He throws a beautiful ball. Mm -hmm. And there's no other way to say that. He throws a very catchable ball. No, it's beautiful. Nah, <laughs> now you took it to another level. <laughs> no, well, he that, gets all no that makes sense, though, because if you watch the game, Trevor uh, Lawrence, Trevor Lawrence, all of his throws like 99 miles an hour, bro. Yeah. Like, literally yeah. every yeah. pass he, he threw he as hard as he could. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, he hit him in the numbers, but yeah. he, he can't catch it. Still, <laughs> <laughs> catching ball. Anyways. Yeah. Well, I meant what I I didn't mean catchable. I meant beautiful. Like, it looks good to watch. <laughs> like... He can, he, yeah. like, long distance, short, like, you it's there. That was a beautiful pass. Oh, that would have been bad. <laughs> so so that's why it. I didn't tweet it, because I had to workshop this out. <laughs> and balls on the brain. Just don't I know mean, why. I see this tweet come out a little bit so later. You balls. know where it came from. But, yeah, like, I, I love watching him play football. Yeah, it was, the dude was good. He's really good. Like, <laughs> He's for good. Real. Like, he was dropping. I'm like, God damn, that was a good ass <laughs> And he was moving, too. Pointing. Yeah. Hey, block dude. I'm coming. Move him real quick. Here I go. Like, he has, it, was, he, it was nice. He's always composed. That's what I like about him. Mm-hmm. Like he's he had calm. weapons though. He had some weapons. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But because yeah. if it wasn't Jefferson, it was Ch- Chase was lighting their ass up. Last that night. running back. Yeah, he was, was untouchable. Yeah, like I forget his he's name. like a little ball of muscle. <laughs> yeah, because I think they said he uh, 
He squats like five something. I believe it. Yeah. You could have said a thousand. And I would have really like, <laughs> that checks out. I think uh, Tim Tebow was talking about it. And it was like, you can't call him little. Like, you can call him short, but you can't call him little because that motherfucker's strong. Like, now you dang. definitely paid attention to that differential. I was going to say, what's, what's the difference between <laughs> short and little? Like, he broke it down. He's like, like <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm asking. I mean, you. as a short person. I, I didn't say all that. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get the perspective. Short is height. Uh-huh. Okay. Little was more so like mass. Okay, so you're you know short what I'm saying? Little. Like, or you like little is also petite. You could be petite. Mm-hmm. So we're looking more like mass. So we're talking height. You're okay. short. You're talking mass. You're little. Okay. Does that make okay. sense? It does. I respect that. I see you. <laughs> I respect that. I see you. That came from the heart too. I know. It was scientific. Mm-hmm. It's, it's scientific. just logical. <laughs> <laughs> so after LSU won, mm-hmm. after coming back on Clemson, uh, cops had to enter the locker room and announce. That everyone that's in that locker room smoking a cigar is subject to arrest. Arrest me. <laughs> I get one cap. That would be you? Hell yeah. Red, no. Like, that nigga said that shit. <laughs> 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 but, like, it's crazy. Like, that was in Louisiana. Like, how you. Like, just let just him, bust just let him have it. Just bust in there. No, no. They Y'all don't know some shit. Dog. Chill out. Like, cops always got flex. Always. Motherfucking Odell. Oh, this nigga here, bro. On the sideline, <laughs> handing players just, cash. I'm just rolling it out. Talking about something that's fake. Hey, he said it was fake. <laughs> fake he said it was fake money. Just, <laughs> hey, I brought him out, bro. There you go, bro. I brought two pockets and of Jefferson full the whole time, like, money. I told you I got you. I told you I got you. Turn around. Who just comes to like, a football I'm game with fake money? Who <laughs> you? <laughs> Apparently Odell. What and you gonna do with on, that? He was on the live afterwards talking about, like, yeah, I'm finna sell this dude cleats for $200,000. Like, just the wild. NCAA, like that Cat Williams gift, like, don't you know we can see you? <laughs> <laughs> like, you finna be everywhere. Mm. Like, I mean, Odell, like, shit, that ain't my eligibility. I don't give a fuck. <sighs> that's gross, though, yeah. but that's the program. But, like, you can't come back to no more games if they do, if nah. they do anything like that. Like, anything to punish them because of the shit you did. They, they like, not I don't know who all, like, I don't know who all he handed money to, but I know Jefferson for Jefferson sure is going, gone, he going pro. One, like, but he's going pro. Yeah, right. Like, But they can still give him. Uh, NCAA petty, you know they petty. But I mean, like it's only a violation if these people are still part of your program, and if how are they gonna prove forward? the money was fake? They I can't. Mean, can't prove it was real either. Well, I, right? They can't. I'm, That's my point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah. Hey. Show, show us that money that Odell gave you. He probably money? did. Probably, I gave it back to him. He probably. You can say that. You can <laughs> say a lot of different That's things. First, I said, I gave it back to him. Y'all ain't see that part. They want to see around. anything else. Y'all right. see that. <laughs> According to the State Medical Board of Ohio, <laughs> someone submitted a petition to add, quote, Bengals Browns fans, end quote, as a qualifying condition under the Ohio Medical Marijuana Control Program. <laughs> that is hilarious. <laughs> they want to be able Damn. to get medical marijuana because they are a Bears. Because they. Or, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, but say it. <laughs> hey, that's why Illinois is legal now. It don't even matter. That's why they're legal now. Shit, they're yes. like, all of them, all in Congress, they're like, bro, yes, we all be watching fan. these damn games, bro, <laughs> together. Fuck it. Legalize yeah. that shit now. I meant to say Bengals and Browns. This is another B team. That's my bad. Hey, Bear Stadium finna be lit as a bitch Dog. when y'all be losing, Dog. bro. We don't give a fuck. It. We <laughs> all here. You been scared. It been crazy. <laughs> that fucking is this. Hey, you play shitty, my nigga, but hey, hey, I'll see you next Sunday, bro. <laughs> That'd be the friendliest, like, quietest, weirdest crowd if it was a whole high crowd. They were like, hey, fuck you, dog. <laughs> But what up? <laughs> what up, dude? Touchdown! <laughs> It'll be lit. I think it's gonna be out there percolating. Music <laughs> gonna be all loud <laughs> and shit. People on the TV like, damn, they everybody just over there. nodding. It's lit the as a motherfucker here, me. <laughs> <laughs> they doing the real wave and shit. <laughs> I, they waving the by real way. What's the real way? <laughs> Is that the it's real way? Wait, dude, what's though? the real what's, way? It's one. It's real way. What's up? <laughs> what is what's is going on? They can't see it here, so go ahead. We're gonna keep on rolling it's past one, this, bro. <laughs> what? We'll keep on rolling. Anyways, what's next? What they talking about? <laughs> you know Christ. what? You go ahead. You go ahead and take it. Oh, Ocho Cinco. He about to be a kicker in the XFL. I think he gonna do a good job too. He used to be a kicker. So, anyways, he got the headline: Retired oh, NFL star Chad Ocho Cinco Johnson <laughs> <clears throat> is trying out for as an XFL kicker. So uh, he tweeted that he hopes that it could lead to a chance to compete for a spot in the NFL roster as a kicker, saying, pretty far-fetched, but imagine me being consistent during the XFL season and getting a chance at a 53-man roster in the NFL. 
even I don't make it just being able to compete for a spot at an entirely different position will be so riveting. Like that. That would be interesting. That would be though, interesting as a, as really a bitch. Would. Like if Chad became, came back as a kicker. He was like, damn, any he, kicker for real? Like, bro, special teams coaches cold, would bro. love him. Yeah. They would he's obsessed, love him. I know he's obsessed with soccer. So like, I'm Yeah, I'll be, probably, he can definitely do this. And he kicked in the uh, NFL game before. Oh, yeah, he did do that. Mm-hmm. I mean, it looked weird, but like maybe he's been working on his technique. He probably has. He probably he probably so literally sitting yeah. like, hey, I mean, man, I've been kicking these soccer balls all damn day. Might as well go ahead and be a kick. Or probably think looking at all the damn kickers missing all this shit. Yeah. It's a lot of bad kickers out there really now. Is. And he probably was like, I could probably kick better than light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to start working on this shit. I mean, I follow him on Twitter, and he seems to have, uh, you know, took care of his chickens and took care of his Oh, yeah, he's so he, he being good. He's living good. He was on, uh, what the fuck was that? Uh, Dance with the Stars? No, he had a, he was on a reality show for a second, too, wasn't he? It was. See, that's what fucked him up, because he was with uh, <laughs> old girl. Yeah, with, and, uh, um, at, he can't he, be whatever old girl name is. He can't be head button. No. Nah. Especially with me. See, I, I, like, I started to say, like, he's, like, the good side of the coin, like, mm-hmm. if, like as opposed to A.B., like, but... Nah. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> but, Damn. I mean, he ain't been in trouble since then. And I don't think he ever got in trouble before that, so... Yeah, this is this is true. He didn't. He just talked a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's all he was. And that was the thing, like... His, hey, man, his antics were, like, harmless, though. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like They were. Is this him, him and T.O. Like, nah, T- well, yeah. T.O.'s antics was harmless, too. They just was all over the place, working out in the drive But his was, his was more destructive to the team, though, too. Like, yeah. he, he was more selfish. Whereas, like, Chad, he was just a... He's, he's, like, Gil- a he's like Gilbert Arenas. <laughs> like, they just jokesters. Like, they, you, yeah. they just don't take shit serious. Mm-hmm. And he was cold, though. He was cold. But we'll see. It'll be interesting. If he actually does. If he actually does make the XFL, and then he actually does make an NFL roster, that'll okay. be dope. It'll be interesting. And then whatever special team coach get him, we'll love him. Um, so the NBA ha- is reconsidering the reseeding proposal um, for the conference finals, hmm. um, and that aspect of the schedule changes may be dropped before the April Board of Governors vote. They got hmm. a lot of heat for that, didn't they? But the so. like, like, apparently, the it's more internal. <clears throat> like teams are against it because it increases the amount of travel, um, oh, and it gives an unfair advantage. Like say Chicago and Milwaukee play in the conference. Mm-hmm. finals and then yeah. like <clears throat> LA and Miami like one is like 90 miles away from each other mm-hmm. whereas the other one is cro- cross country three times like yeah. fair enough I mean that legit from the logistics point that makes sense but we'll see because they said there should be something about the actual regular season schedules tied into that or something like that or no no, no this is just, just this is literally just the part about reseeding the conference finals because remember oh, no. it was going to be like it eliminates conferences mm-hmm. 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 it's actually I guess no, so real, instead real of line. instead of it being Chicago and Milwaukee, say Milwaukee and Minnesota, because those are different conferences, right. but they could have played. Mm-hmm. You I saying. get you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, where are we at? Oh, New England wide receiver uh, <laughs> Julian Edelman was arrested Saturday night after allegedly jumping on and damaging the hood of someone's car. What a slug. You know what? <laughs> what a slug. <laughs> so he ain't know what the fuck to do with himself. He ain't in the playoffs. This is the first time his ass ain't this deep in a while. Pause. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll see you. Uh, Tell wow. a secret, sir. I'll see you. That was. I'll see you, sir. Y'all motherfuckers. Anyways. I'll see, I'll see you, sis. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Anyways. Uh, AB also been on some bull. Yeah, he was on his live yesterday, like cussing it. out the police and like kicking his baby mama out the house. He need and help, cussing, dude. cussing with the kids. Yeah, yeah, like, come on, bro. Chill out, dog. He need help for real. Ho ass nigga, bitch ass nigga. Yo, yo, I could buy you motherfuckers. Y'all niggas broke. Get off my property. Like, just like continuously wow. for like 10 Ignorant minutes. Yeah. Talking to the police. Like, Ignorant yo, what's y'all gonna arrest posted me? it on the live? He was live. He was live. With his phone up Ignorant, and recording bro. the whole thing. Wow. He pulled out a bag of dicks at one point, like, <laughs> like little gummies, like little gummies. Like he's like, yeah, I got a bag of dicks. Like, all right. <laughs> he got a big and throw him at my mama. Eat a dick, bro. <laughs> he's he <laughs> doing that dumb shit. Hey, eat a dick and give it to me. Give me a gummy. He conveniently had a bag of dicks. <laughs> he been waiting for this. <laughs> To tell somebody to eat a dick, <laughs> and he pulled a bag of dicks on it. <laughs> oh shit! That came some Antonio Brown shit. What dog. the fuck, dog? I can see. I'm that sorry. Shit. He ignorant as fuck, but that shit is funny, <laughs> dog. This dog that is he, funny. He literally pulled out a bag of dicks. 
<laughs> but since we're talking about AB, oh, shit. I'm gonna get this is another tease right here because we're about to go to the radio. <laughs> oh my god, no, what? Oh, Oh, we are shit. about to go to the radio. WTCK Radio 69.9 FM where 69 is fine. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> he took it to a whole other level. I was saying, I can't even have Ken introduce what the radio segment is because he's still laughing about a bag of dicks. <laughs> that shit is funny. <laughs> he literally had a bag of dicks, dog. On the standby. It is say a bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker died. Just no. Well, Ken still laughs. That wild cousin, you be like, something wrong with that boy. I, I always knew something was wrong with that boy. Anyway, <laughs> the radio segment is the weekly segment that we do on this show where we highlight music that was done, made by, inspired, produced by, in I'll some be capacity. Shit like this. <laughs> 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 by an athlete. We, uh,. You know, like music, made a radio station. Tim's our actual DJ, well, DJ like, such and DJ such. such. Uh, and I'm, I'm DJ Give It To Me this year. Oh, you switch your DJ name. I see you. I'm DJ Give It I To Me. I see you. I got to ride with my shit. New year, new you, I see you. Wait, what? Somebody trying to cop Stephen A. stealing. He's stealing your DJ name, too? Nah, I'm just he saying. Go, <laughs> Next week, he going to get a deuce himself. Wouldn't that be He going to start coming out with a DJ, DJ name. <laughs> Stephen A. Smith on the ones and twos. <laughs> you bitch, motherfucker, you. Oh, shit. Nah, it'd be, that'd be some wild shit. What's wrong with him, bro? He literally hey, shook a bag of dicks. He shook the jar, but you can't even pay the insurance. Broke ass. Is he from Milwaukee? Bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Why you just got Why a bag, got of bag of dicks? Of shaking up. Okay. You have the kids at the house and shit, bro. You got dicks. Bag of gummy dicks. Wow, I wonder if the kids do eat the That's what I'm saying. He wallin'. The bag wasn't like full or nowhere close. Anyway. He wallin', bro. <laughs> anyway, this week's radio song that we're going to do is uh, by Antonio Brown. Hmm. Mm, mm. I have not listened. I oh, haven't either. The title of Bag of Dicks. <laughs> right. <laughs> the song is actually titled Whole Lot of Money. <laughs> Whole lot of money. This would be ignorant as fuck. So, yeah. Is this the video like, with all the white women in it? It's oh. possible. It is quite possible. Apple just told me this song is no longer available. Oh, how Dang. about that? That quickly, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we gonna find They see the dicks. It's like, hey, we've had enough. <laughs> we can have this guy out here. He's walking around with a bag of dicks. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a uh, buddy squirrel ass bag, too. <laughs> Shake a rattle and shit. Bag of dicks. <laughs> I almost googled a whole lot of dicks because y'all keep talking about dicks. And I forgot what the name of this is. Hey, your phone would have been going haywire. It would have been going wild. Like, right, what is you on over there? <laughs> <laughs> he take jokes, Dutch, on another level. Boy. Whole lot of money. Okay. <laughs> I got the official video, so. Mm-mm. This would be a whole lot of trash. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get through this shit, though. You ready, Tim? <clears throat> okay, wait. Let me try to uh, cue this up for you a little bit. Hold on. Because, you know, I don't I don't want no ads to start playing when you're trying to give your spiel. And look, what what is that? First thing, what is it? An ad. Yeah. I thought she said ass. I, I did too, ass. but because it was an I ass that rolled over the TV at the same time. It was that too. It was all of the above. I was like, damn, that's ass already? <laughs> <laughs> it was okay. no time. Whole Lot of Money by Whole Antonio Brown. Money. His rap name is A.B. Of course. I'm assuming Whole Lot it's of rap. Money by A.B. Okay. Do you want the music to start playing? Uh, that goofy before? nigga probably talking off top. Uh, nope. Okay, you DJ kill me give in. it to me. Mm-hmm. You kill me in DJ. Was it DJ giving it to me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, give me some. Can't give me <laughs> Give me what you got. <laughs> that was bullshit. <laughs> can, can you All count right. us down to go on the air? Yes. Um, five, four, three, two. WTECK Radio 69.9 with 69 is fine. It's DJ Give It To Me. You got AB with a whole lot of money. There we go. I, you know why I should have said give it to me at the end of that? You know, it's, I got it next time. I got y'all. Who is the future? Wait, who is the future? <laughs> Hey, they better get that pulled off oh, quick. Oh, no, you sound oh, too much like you. Right, they're like, yeah, Apple pulled it. They're like, no, this future, bro. 
Hold on. How you can do do stuff future whole <laughs> shit? He's bro. like, bro, I just put a new song out. Should, no, he no, no. He ain't even still feature. He's an old designer. Like he the knockoff of the knockoff. It's like you stopped loading. It just oh there it is. Okay, we good. Wow, that was Let me put a little raise in. Nice beat, took that man's whole swag. I got a whole lot of money. I got a whole lot of money. I got a whole lot of I got a whole lot of money. 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 I got a they watching on my clock, shit, yeah, they chalking me. Yeah, they keep me on their wall, yeah, they not as me. And I be scrapped out to my drawers, to my fucking cleats. They buying on my stocks, yeah, they investing me. We need 50 front the front, we gon' play for keeps. But I skipped out of college to get them dollars. We had a whole lot of money, whole lot of money. You know what this is? It don't suck, I'm not gonna lie. It's not gone. I wanna hate it so bad. <laughs> but it's like it's not the I can't stop popping. It's that beat that's what you need. Rearrange some things I had to humble you. You look at strange to me. I'm ready to run with you. I got diamonds on me. Did the dash with my homie. They be spazzing on me. Pass the crow to the homie. I be sliding lonely. Can't get caught slipping on me, homie. It's also how you know a lot of artists is crazy. Is he crazy as shit? This shit ain't that bad. <laughs> but crazy make a hit different. Even though I know he's lying in his bar, I'm like, okay. Right. I mean, they all. <laughs> there you go. That, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Not even gonna lie. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. I might not play it again, but that wasn't yeah, bad. Yeah, it wasn't bad. <laughs> like, if I can get the instrumental, like, yeah. yeah. Now we on to something. Yeah. yeah. NFL injuries. Interesting. Alright. <clears throat> injuries. I shouldn't say just NFL is all of them. Yeah, it's all injuries. Um, NFL Philly quarterback Josh McCown tore his hamstring off the bone during the uh wild card loss to Seattle. Ship. Safe recovery, brother. I think forty? He played the whole second half with his hamstring torn off. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> McCown was trying though. He was trying. <laughs> then um Mc um uh, McNabb, Hill. right? Did that back in the day with like a broken Leg or something, Donovan McNabb. He played a whole game with a broken leg, or something like that. Was, was he did something to he his did leg? Break, he, he, he broke some in his leg, yeah. yeah. And like, and he T. Played T. Like broke the, his ankle and played in the Super Bowl, so yeah. And he was leaked, man. He stopped throwing to him in the second half. I think what's name played like a half or a game. Um, Phil Rivers played most of a game with a torn ACL, so <laughs> I mean, once the storm, like, we can't do, do nothing else about it. it. Yeah. That's wild. That's crazy. Um, uh, Zion, oh, and oh. uh, Carson Wentz, like, he. Self-reported a, a concussion, which, I mean, first of all, like, the NFL and their doctors, like, screwed up, like, the fact that that hit was apparently so egregious. Like, I still Dog, haven't seen the hit, but, like, that hit so was, egregious. Yeah, like He bounced off his helmet, mm-hmm. bro. Yeah. Like, his shoulder pad bounced Like, how did nobody how, nobody caught that? He had to come off the field and say, like, I think I have a concussion, which I, I, I commend him for because, mm-hmm. like, pulling us, like, yeah. Having self preservation to the in point, a playoff like, game. right? Yeah. A playoff game, like you know, you're gonna get heat for, it, especially in Philly, like yeah. yeah. So props to him for, but that was it was a, it was a tough hit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a pretty bad hit. Yeah. Um, Zion Williamson has returned to practice. Both sides are looking for a return sometime this month. I think mm. they said they're looking at sometime this week. Mm. Should be mm-hmm. getting close. I'm curious how the fortunes for the Pelicans return. I know they're hurt. They've been playing I mean, well they've recently. already, right. <clears throat> Brandon Ingram, Lonzo, Lonzo has been yeah. better. He's been doing what I said they were going to do. Now. Okafor had a double It's when, uh, fav- was, when, fav- when Favors came back. Yeah, Favors. Fa- Which, again, gets back to, like, competence. Like, if yeah. you just have somebody that knows what they're doing, knows mm-hmm. the spots to be in, knows the coverages, like, can quarterback your defense, like, that's, like, Jackson Hayes has all the upside in the world, but he doesn't know what he's doing he's right now. Mm-hmm. Right. Right, and he's not, he's not supposed to. Like, this, yeah. these are learning experiences for him, but... Like he's not gonna like he has the potential to be a great defender, but like mm-hmm. right now he isn't. He just has tools. Yep. That's so fair. yeah, like that's why like teams bring in vets or like they should. They should. They that's should. why should. every team should have a couple vets. Yeah. Vets that play, not just vets that be on the bench. Like yeah. Although those are also important. Like, they are, but you need 
also ones that, you know. You can't hire a bunch of Paul Gasols. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't bunch of Milwaukee Paul Gasols. Milwaukee Paul Gasols. Hey, hey, you look like you're doing good out there. You get up and do something then. <laughs> Shit. Actually, speaking of Zion and Pelicans, like, he was on JJ Reddy's podcast, and he was talking about, like, the difference between college and the pros. It's like, in college, like, everything is kind of, like, set for you. Like, mm-hmm. they, like, they tell you what time you got to be at the bus. They tell you what time you need to go lift. They tell you what time you need to go to practice. They tell mm-hmm. you, well, I mean, they still do that in pros. But, like, they, mm-hmm. like every second of your day, pretty much, is it's structured. Class. Yeah. Like, whereas, like, when you get to the NBA, like, you have to learn to do that shit yourself. And, like, like if you have good vets, like, they'll take you under your wings and, like, be like okay, like, this is what you need to do, you know? Yeah. Like, and in all aspects, not just about the job, but, like, mm-hmm. saying, like you got to be a self-starter and you got to do all that stuff on your own. So, like, again, like, having vets on the court is very important to, like, the team success, but, like, mm-hmm. also having people on, like, having people on the team that can just be like, oh, maybe don't go party on, right. in yeah. Miami tonight, you know, like, like that's that what, stuff um, has value, too. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, Devin Singletary was saying that about Frank Gore. Yep. Like, he's been an excellent mentor. Like, Frank Gore was like, even once I leave, like, I'm still going to call him every day make sure he good. Like, yeah. make sure he mm-hmm. on his thing. Mm-hmm. And so I I agree. Here. That's the thing. Like, they'll hand these kids, like, $20 million and be like, all right, here. Yeah, like, you, you better go. produce. And yeah. then if you don't, like. You out of there, bro. That's it. Yeah. It's gone. Take care of your chickens. <laughs> <laughs> keeps coming. <clears throat> Again, keeps coming back message, to message, man. Um, NBA. So, Philly center Joel Embiid. Messed up his hand. Uh, he'd be reevaluated Ooh. in one to two weeks. That shit was gross. He yeah. could miss up to eight weeks. That finger was cocked like a motherfucker. I was like, Jesus that Christ. That finger was like an S. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it was, oof, it was gross. So, um, but yeah, he could miss up to eight weeks. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> a re-evalu- so, he had hand surgery, I think, for like a tendon or something. Mm-hmm. They said mm-hmm. they'll reevaluate him in at this point, like a week from now. But other people that have had that injury, like they've been out like six to eight weeks. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, Detroit four Blake Griffin sucks. He's That's out. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna knee. get that knee surgery. <clears throat> yeah, so he's I think out he had it already. Yeah. Um, Brooklyn guard Kyrie Irving returning to action on January thirteenth after two months on the sideline due to a shoulder injury. Uh, Irving received a con- uh, what is it, a cortisone shot mm-hmm. on December twenty fourth to attempt to stab off arthroscopic surgery. <laughs> <laughs> I need these words ain't coming out the right way. You're wrong, Burgundy too. Right. <clears throat> arthroscopic surgery um, and a lengthy recovery period in hopes of contributing to the team this season. So we'll see how Kyrie. Like I seen somebody was trying to like, oh, why Kyrie isn't considered like Kendrick Perkins threw out a list of all stars that he figured, mm-hmm. and he was like, y- y'all can fill in number twelve. And somebody was like, why you ain't throw Kyrie on the list? I'm like he ain't played. Bro. Kendrick Perkins be on Twitter <clears throat> tweeting, tweeting, don't he? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he did the Eastern Conference All Stars. He put mid at ten. I was like, okay, it's gonna be interesting. You got the stuff. You got him and KD's beef. I can find it by the time we deal with these injuries. For oh, sure. <clears throat> Dallas Ford, Chris Stops Porzingis. He will miss his sixth straight game with a sore knee. Chicago center Wendell Carter Jr. Ankle. He's out multiple weeks. Orlando Ford, Jonathan Isaac will be reevaluated in four to eight weeks. He that sprained was a his big knee. Blow, man. Yeah, it was. He was hooping too. <clears throat> like defense like he is ridiculous. Like he was he's turning into something that is like He was supposed to be like a defensive stalwart, I thought. Like that was one of his big potential. Watching points. him flourish is crazy. Like he's he was impressive to watch. Um, Orlando Four, Al Farouk Aminu is out, likely out for the season following surgery to repair a torn meniscus. And Atlanta Four, Jabari Parker, he's out two weeks. The shoulder injury. I just want that man to stay healthy. <clears throat> he can't catch a break at all. I hope he do. So Kendrick Perkins, Kevin Durant <laughs> had a little a little tussy. Tussy. Yeah. <laughs> um, so it was, uh, I think, last Thursday night, uh, Russell Westbrook made his return to Oklahoma City mm-hmm. for the first time as a member of Houston Rockets. Yeah. Um, Kendrick Perkins <clears throat> tweeted out, in about 30 minutes, I'm going to go give my opinion on Sports Center on why I believe Russell Westbrook is the best player to have ever put on an Oklahoma City Thunder jersey. He is Mr. Thunder. Three exclamation points. Mm. Okay. A guy named Mark D'Amico that apparently works for the Celtics. Re- responded, say he put together the best career within the organization, but he's definitely not the best player to have ever put on a jersey for them. Come on, Perk. Perk? Hey, Kevin left the door open and Russ walked right in. D'Amico, I think Russ walked into the door called second round of the playoffs three straight times. <laughs> Perk? KD lost in the second round with Russ when I was there, without Russ when I was there, so what that mean? And that's when Kevin Durant like, you say his name enough times, like, he will find your Beetlejuice, my nigga, bro. He shows up like Beetlejuice. 
So KD Trey <laughs> five. Yeah, and our starting center at Kendrick Perkins averaged a whopping two and three in that series. You played hard though, champ. LOL. Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> <laughs> facts on the averages and facts on the champ part two. Okay. So then Kevin Durant like Boo. put up a hand <laughs> right. like handshake emoji. But then Perk came back. Wait, I gotta find it. Hold on. Wait, nope, that's not it. Cause like they fucked up the thread at one point, so like now I gotta find where. Yeah, the thread. That's why I didn't know what really. happened oh, yeah, yeah. in real okay. time. Because I was like, what happened to? Because Perk went back and replied for a second time to the two and three. You play hard champ tweet. Got you. Boy, stop. <laughs> you Boy, did stop. the weakest move in NBA history. Up on the team 3-1 in the Western Conference Finals and then go join them the following season. Heart of a champion right there. Kevin Durant, weak at starting at center, playing real minutes with no production. You should have worked on your skills as hard as, as much as I did. Mm. 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 Pulled out facts on him. He and was, that's, he was a starting center. Facts you, know that, <laughs> you know that shit hit because like... KD, I mean, Kendra Perkins came back with, that's fine. You worked that hard and still had to go join a 73-9 and nine team. Truth be told, you don't even feel like a real champ. You have a hard time sleeping at night, huh? Knowing that you took the coward way out. Y'all just done all of this over Twitter, huh? All over. <laughs> and y'all definitely got each other's phone numbers. <laughs> they for sure got each other's phone numbers. But they wanted to show out. Mm. <laughs> No, that's because Kevin Durant's Beetlejuice. That's why that happened. Yeah, duh. Durant been all. I've been seeing his name pop up a lot in social media lately, responding to randoms, bro. I mean, he got shit else to do. I'm like, duh. He Can't enjoys even... it. He be saying, "I got time." Yeah, I got time. Just bro. in random mentions. <laughs> The most he, random ones. He, he be like, "Oh, really, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I'm weird. That, like out of nowhere, bro. Like, it'd be, it'd be oh, like, ugly. Oh, I did, bitch. Bro, it'd be like thirty comments about Katie, and this one random one be like, "Yeah, he a bitch," and he go be like, "Oh, you mad? <laughs> what the fuck?" That, that's what LeBron did. Watch King. Uh, like, oh, that was, was like one. three people that hey, was, watched it. I've heard of well, Now it's I've a whole it. Twitter. I've heard it a few times. He need to get at the Chris Paul. He do, though. Dude, Chris Paul been hooping. A whole Oklahoma City <laughs> Oklahoma been City, yeah. and he's been the catalyst he for that shit. Been. Like, motherfuckers need to put some respect back on that nigga name. They was, th- they was throwing him to the wolves. Speaking of respect on people's names. Let's talk about some people who are no longer here to give our condolence condolences to a few. As Marshawn would say, they no longer. Yeah. I like that. That was a good uh, Bay accent there for a second. <laughs> it was. Wait. Yeah. So tell me. Okay. So this is the two year anniversary. <laughs> this is the two year anniversary of. Um, fuck. The first time we disrespected Paul Pierce on here. Aww. Oh, for real? Really? On what? Yeah. Shit. Matter of fact, I always got to disrespect that nigga. <laughs> Fuck him. Hey, you got you got thirty seconds. I need that long to pull it up. Oh, okay. say less. Yeah, fuck Paul Pierce, bro. We already know what it is. It's own brand. <laughs> it's own brand. You got thirty whole seconds to fill. That's all you gonna say? Oh yeah, fuck him. <laughs> Who you think you is, Kobe? You ain't Kobe. <laughs> <laughs> he actually did bring up Kobe, and he said, you know, I was there when Kobe got hit in the jersey retired. Kobe. All we had beats. Video packages playing at halftime, celebrating Kobe. I don't want to see Isaiah Thomas videos during my day. So my question to y'all: <laughs> Is Paul Pierce right to want that nope. day to be just about him, or is he being a bitch a ass? ass? <laughs> <laughs> no, hello. Hey, you got Eric Brown. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a Paul Pierce. But no, actually, yes, I, I agree with Paul Pierce. Honestly. Why do you agree with Paul? Because Paul Pierce is with the franchise forever. He stuck Ill through him. it. He stayed true to him for the longest. Hey, listen, you got to play got a championship too. with him and things like that. Like, he, he literally was one of the realest Celtics players, and he got traded. But Before y'all even go, you two, I just want to point out the fact that Paul Pierce is one of the most overrated legends. Absolutely. Judge. In NBA history. Here come the bar. He is, he is the E-40 of the NBA. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That's the bar. E40, like, I'm still trying hey. to figure out how E40 caught a straight here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, he finna be next week. Oh, oh, oh really? Oh, really? <laughs> hey, hey the Bay love him, hey. and Boston love him. Oh, so, E40. <laughs> you know. <I> like, <laughs> <laughs> but no, for real, rest in peace uh, to former NBA commissioner David Stern. He was mm-hmm. 77. Uh, he passed away from complications uh, from that stroke he had a couple of weeks ago. Uh, rest in peace to former Cincinnati and Tampa Bay head coach. Sam White. Sam White. He was 74. He left Cincinnati to the Super Bowl back in 88. Mm. With one, wasn't some of y'all born in 88? Me. So was I. <clears throat> yeah, I was here already. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I wasn't here yet. You're percolating. Percolating. <laughs> and uh, rest in peace to Bryce Gowdy as well. He was 17 years old. Uh, he was a star wide receiver with a 
scholarship offer to play at Georgia Tech. And uh, his family had been homeless for several months before he committed suicide by jumping in front of a train on December 30th. Up, man. He was uh, all set to go to Georgia Tech on the 5th of January. Yeah. So, like, apparently he had, like, been concerned about, like, leaving his mom and his... I don't remember how si- how many siblings he has, but... Mm-hmm. Like, they were living in and out of motels. Like, mm-hmm. they were living in their car mm-hmm. at some point. Like, he was just... Mm-hmm. Like, he kept being like, you gonna be okay when I'm gone? You gonna be okay? And his mom, like, kept saying, like, yeah, man, we, we good. Like... Mm-hmm. But I don't know if the like apparently like he him and his mom both kind of got like issues with mm-hmm. mental health and mm-hmm. like she was saying like she she had been paying as much attention to him because she was dealing with her own stuff and mm-hmm. like he just kind of yeah like I don't know if the moment got too big for him or what but mm. well so but yeah uh, rest in peace uh, to all of the guys we just discussed for sure uh, some good news though. Atlanta guard Trey Young, he partnered with a nonprofit, RIP Medical Debt, to relieve more than a million dollars in past due medical debts for people in Atlanta who cannot afford to pay them. That's, so That's dope. dope. It is. Yeah. So, yeah, he actually donated 10000 through his foundation, and that erased $1.5 mil, one mil, well, one $1 million in some change. I'm not even going to attempt to go through all them numbers right now. $59,000 to some change. I'll take it. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Not for sure. Like, that's what you do with your platform. Exactly. D-Wade, he's getting his jersey retired in Miami. That three is going into the rafters during a three-day ceremony. I see what they did there. February 21st (laughs) through February 23rd. Well deserved, though. I'm about to start some shit. Like... Now Paul everybody Pierce, gonna, like Paul Pierce gonna be like, I want a week. Exactly, he'll be shitting itself. Why wouldn't Paul? <laughs> <laughs> it's Paul Pierce, like yeah. exactly. Don't hate Nas. You ain't D Wade. Hey, nowhere close, motherfucker. You ain't Kobe. Stabby you ain't D Wade. <laughs> I'm curious, like do you, you ain't think Vince that, Carter. They probably will because they retire everybody number, but like, will yeah. the Heat retire number six for LeBron? Yeah. Yep. I'm just. Mm-hmm. He got him some chips. Yeah, he was there for four years. Ain't they got Michael <clears throat> Jersey retired? Yeah, that's all I said. Like, yeah, they're going to have Kobe number retired. Or, um, <laughs> LeBron, LeBron number retired, I think. Yeah, <laughs> Look I mean, at that. They got him, they got him, he got him too. So, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I feel like he is. Plus, it's LeBron James. Like, you had him in your franchise, they'll, they'll retire his name. They put Bosch up there. But Bosch was there for longer. But, I mean, if you think of that era, you would... Plus, ex- like, Bosch has stayed in Miami too. Like, even Dwayne Wade has moved to LA. Like, I mean, I'm pretty sure Mike, LeBron got a couple houses in Miami. Mmm. No, no. <laughs> well, probably got the fuck up out of there. Yeah, man, fuck, <laughs> fuck all this. Like that was the whole point. Like his wife ain't want to live in Miami no more. Yeah, you know? nothing left. Speaking of Miami, too many speaking of Miami, though, we're like, no, we gotta was. go. She's like, no, we leaving. We going back to Ohio. <laughs> <sighs> Jimmy Butler uh, and Jordan Brand parted ways. They are no longer together. I bet you, you end up wherever way that because you're just trying to single wife email. Probably. <laughs> speaking of Jimmy. <laughs> Can you cue that up for me, Eric, please? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, that was right. yeah. I'm like, I don't have the clip. Um, so, Jimmy Butler and Indiana Indiana Pacers forward TJ Warren got into a little bit of tussle. Tussle? Is that what we're going with? Yeah, what did you tussle. Say for? A tizzy? Yeah, they got in one of them. Um, during the game <laughs> in which uh, led Jimmy Butler to calling Warren out during his post-game, pre- well, post-game press conference. Did you see it? We're about to hear it. No, I'm saying, did you see the actual interaction? The little tizzy? Mm-hmm. I just saw them, like, I couldn't make out what they were saying, but I know that they were, like, yelling at each other across the court, like, after they hooked up. Like, what what started it? Um, I forgot what started that shit, but I, I remember when they kind of got tied up a little bit, and then Butler was talking crazy, and then he, dude followed him, and he was still talking, but the refs were still standing there while he was talking, so the ref teed him up mm-hmm. right away. And Butler turned around and started blowing kisses at him and shit on the court. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, damn, dude. But, um, no, it was, it was, it was, it was interesting because Jimmy was talking mad spicy. Like, this would be, we'll that's, what that's what Jimmy does. Like, Jimmy just be talking. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I can't though. even find a little yeah, post game conference, but he was talking spicy again. I thought he po- like posted on Instagram, like, a screenshot of their schedule, like, I'll see you February whenever. He definitely did. Yeah, he, it's March, sometime in March. He was saying, "Don't uh, have him put." If he, like if he was the coach, he wouldn't put him on him no more. Like, don't ever have him. He go bust his ass every time and shit. He was going. Yeah. Somebody looked up the numbers. I don't remember if it backed up what Jimmy said or not. I think it did. It probably did, but I mean, teaching more than a defender like that. 
And Jimmy said he can't hold. I got it. I got the clip. Oh, there you go. I think it's tough for him because I can guard him and he can't guard me. Like, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. Um, but like I said, um, I think you just got to watch your mouth in certain situations. There's some you just don't say as a man. And, um, I mean... He he got he got to see me the next time because I, I feel like what he said was was truly disrespectful, and it's all good because um we see him again. I'm I ain't scared of nobody. So you know he talking about oh we gonna fight this that this that. It is what it is to me. And then what did you notice the middle finger from him and was the blowing of the kiss? Soft. <laughs> he's not he's not even in my fucking. Like nowhere near. Oh, me. Um, they need to be oh, fired. No, yeah, if I was a coach, I would. Oops. I would never. <laughs> <laughs> he, he should, like put somebody else on me because I'm I'm a tear his ass up every time. Yeah, Tom. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> Barbecue chicken. Real quick, if it was a fight, T.J. Warren and Jimmy Butler, who you got? TJ's Man, they're basketball players. Uh, they can't fight. He got the Jaheems though. Who? <laughs> T.J. Warren. He, he got, got the straight backs. <laughs> he got the Trace, <laughs> trace Thorns, Struggle Braids. Right, I don't know, bro. Putting your money on the Struggle Braids, huh? With the straight backs. I ain't, I ain't mad at you. Who you got? Jimmy Butler. Eric. I, Jimmy did grow up homeless, but I, I don't think anyone, either one yeah, of them can fight. Know. He did. I know. It was like, just funny the way you like. I'm just saying, like. You, well, the boy did. The boy was homeless. If somebody say, like, who you got in a fight between somebody that didn't have a meal last night and somebody that get three squares a day, like. Yeah. You'll go with yeah. the one who don't get the meals. I, I feel you. I'm going to go with Jimmy. Marquette, you know. But, uh, uh, come on, y'all. A league investigation confirmed the Astros. Hey, let me finish my sentence. No, that's your saxophone. I was going to say finish it out. Or alternate. I don't know how y'all want to do it, but. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to roll and figure it out. A league investigation confirmed that the Astros had cheated by using a camera-based sign-stealing system during the regular season and playoffs on the World Series winning 2017 season. So, <laughs> baseball world been in, like, a uh, tizzy. Uh, <laughs> because of this. Is that the word of the show? Of right. Because the phrase that pays is right, tizzy. Exactly. Um, but there was a lot of Yankee fans that was pissed off about this shit when it first started coming out about the sign-stealing and everything like that. Now that they actually came out during, Slow the, down. <laughs> during the 2017 <laughs> winning season... The MLB was like, like I was surprised at the, the punishments that they rang out. But um, Houston Astros general manager Jeff L- uh, Lanau and manager A.J. Hinch were fired by owner Jim Crane after the MLB suspended Lanau and uh, Hinch for the 2020 season. So the owner was like, you know what, fuck it. We just mm-hmm. finna wash our hands of all this shit and be done with it. Um, as part of the league's penalty, the Astros will also lose a first round and second round pick in the 2020 and 21 season, and the organization was fined a record five million dollars as well. And that's the max you can get fined as an MLB team. So I was like, damn, okay, okay. And MLB. Alex Cora just got fired. Well, they parted away. They parted away. So Alex Cora was the manager for the Boston Red Sox, and he mm-hmm. was the only other person like in power still. So they was like everybody else he was, was players. He was a bench coach for Houston when all this was going on. He's now well, as of. <laughs> Yesterday he was, he was yeah. the, head the manager coach. for the yeah, uh, manager for Boston Red Sox. <laughs> yeah, but I mean they they, they they was like, hey, it's a sad situation, but the Red Sox not finna hold on to that shit either. They were like, we got an image too. They're like, so y'all caught with sign stealing. We're gonna well, let I mean, you he, be a he, manager. They say he he's probably gonna be suspended just as long. So yeah. might as well. So they like, hey, we cut our losses, bro. So I had to hear it, but y'all was cheating. <laughs> so um, L- the Los Angeles Dodgers statement. Uh, all clubs have been asked by Major League Baseball not to comment on today's punishment of the Houston Astros as it's inappropriate to comment on discipline imposed on another club. The, the Dodgers have also uh, been asked not to comment on any wrongdoing during the 2017 World Series and will no, have no further comment at this time. They will be like, no, Dang. we got it. Shut y'all ass up. We know y'all lost, but y'all can't say nothing. Can't say shit. Don't say nothing. Not a joke, not a tweet, not a meme, not a gif. Not I don't want to see nothing. Nothing. That's some wild shit. What? I don't know. Like, I w- aren't people always stealing signs in baseball, though? It's, yeah, it's, it's because like they the, uh, video recorded it mm-hmm. from a different angle. They had someone, like, in the stands, and they were Like, they were literally them. just blatantly stealing So, the shit. MLB is kind of like, you can cheat a little. Like, you can cheat, but you be bringing technology into it now. Like, nigga, y'all... Calm down. Like, we can see you cheating man, now. Man's, <laughs> man's too hot. Like, yeah. calm, like and I think uh, Pete Rose came out and was like... I'm sure he did. Oh. <laughs> he was like, they cheating was worse than my gamble. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Just let it go, bro, sir. Like, bro, 
Just let it go. I mean, in essence, yeah, because they cheated their way to a title. <laughs> I, he was betting on his teams to win. Yeah. So, so that still seems like confidence to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, you ain't guaranteed to win that game. <laughs> exactly. Like, I but can see he's betting against himself. Yeah. Yeah. Then he throwing the game. So, but yeah, that's that's but that's yeah. huge. That was big news in the MLB recently. Um. I didn't really read up on the new CBA thing, but I'm happy about the WNBA getting a new <coughs> CBA deal. The WNBA and this uh, Player <laughs> the Union. Players Union. I was looking for the acronym when I didn't see it. I froze. Like, what? <laughs> uh, they agreed to a new CBA agreement. Some of the highlights include an annual base pay for the league's highest paid player jumping from $117,500. Yeah. That ain't right. No, you said 117 then you said 500 That's right. No, one hundred seventeen thousand five hundred. That's why. Thank I was, you. I was, I was like, "What you want? Thank, thank you, nigga." Day to two hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. <laughs> well, Kid over there, like, I don't know. It's all right to me. Either, either way, it's all right. They getting paid more than I get. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> hey, someone should give like a, a translation of everything I'm saying. Just break it down because this is all wordy. With other benefits, the league's top players could earn cash compensation in excess of five hundred thousand dollars. For sure. That's your recap. Thank you. <coughs> okay. I mean, that was pretty. I mean, that, that was pretty. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you with that one? okay. The agreement is for eight years from the twenty twenty or from the twenty twenty from twenty twenty through twenty twenty seven. Two mean twenties, lot twenties. It is a lot twenties, but <laughs> it actually makes sense with the, from the twenty twenty through twenty twenty seven seasons with mutual opt out pr- pr- provision after six years. <laughs> you want me to take over? So pretty much, I got an eight year contract, but they can opt out after the six. Yeah, the twenty twenty uh, salary cap will be one point three million per team, which is up from nine hundred ninety six thousand in twenty 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 nineteen. <laughs> Now I'm stuck. Um, players who complete their contracts and have five or more years of service can become unrestricted free agents unless they are tagged as a, quote, core player, which is their version franchise of the franchise tag. tag. Um, the number of times a player can be tagged as a core goes from four to three beginning this season and drops to two beginning in 2022. Oh, that's a big hmm. one. Yeah, it is. That's dope. Um, players will receive full salary while on maternity leave an annual child care stipend of five thousand dollars that ain't shit, and guarantee of a five, of a two bedroom apartment for players with children. Well, I damn near pay that shit five thousand. I mean, but they're guaranteeing them <laughs> some place to stay, which is oh, interesting. To wait, five thousand for what? Is that per the whole month, year? per year, per what? It's an annual. It's an annual. That ain't that's shit. That's no, that ain't shit. shit. You, you, you I use that right. exactly. That's what but, I didn't pay that shit. But they're guaranteeing they're, them a two bedroom apartment. Yeah, and and I mean like. Their season is pretty short. It's what, like three months? Mm-hmm. So, Plus they yeah. had a full salary on maternity leave, which is cool. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. That definitely is dope. Good for y'all. Um, I did see somebody say, like, this is better for higher-end players. Like, yeah, it's more beneficial course. to the higher-end players than, like, the average player. But, mm-hmm. like, you know, rising tide lifts all ships. So, mm-hmm. Right. And it's, also it's, encourage it's, some of those top-tier players to not play overseas as much. So they get some additional yeah. rest time. Get some more money here. Once Chill, family bit. time here. Chill, yeah, things like that. Duh. Get an off season for once. <laughs> mm-hmm. hmm. So, I take it. Brock Lesnar oh. will not defend his title at Royal Rumble. He will instead be the number one entrant into the Rumble itself. Well, that I'm doesn't make be, sense. Though. I'm gonna keep it real with you, champ. I forgot he was a t- he was a champion because it's Brock. But why though? What it was? Uh, and I was pissed. I'm like, wait. You. So we don't see your ass since what was it? Survivor? Si- no, SummerSlam. What? No, that's oh, what or the the crown jewel? No, he was at the Fox thing. Then he was at the crown jewel or the yeah, because he wanted at the, the at the debut of SmackDown. Which and then he's been, been like, on Raw. Like oh, he's he been went on like thirty seconds. Uh, so the Ray Mysterio wrestling. shit. Ever since the Cain Velasquez shit ended, he was fighting Ray Mysterio after that. Yeah, they fought. Hey, I barely world. been watching. Like, I he, know that. He, ain't, he ain't been on there in a minute though. Sure, he's been right. Right. is he ever ne- He's right, never boss. not really on there that much. True, he hasn't defended his title. I'm sorry. That's that's what I said. A minute ago. This yeah. Anyways, mm-hmm. have you been watching? Not really. So if he win, he don't got to fight nobody. I don't. That's the fucking point. I'm like, why the fuck? So well, I mean, he can challenge the, the SmackDown champ. Oh, to get that belt and they get both. Oh, yeah. uh, have multiple. Titles. I don't think Brock will win. Wait, I mean, he's starting the thing off. So, like, Brock Lesnar don't fight for an hour. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, is- I think <laughs> the last time he was in a rumble, he got knocked out of that bitch early, and then he rolled out the ring and then came back later on in the match. 
that's how I'm like some old man stuff he would no, do. That's the shit that he does. He can even get a breather. I think Roman did that shit too. Probably. Mm-hmm. He did. He definitely did. I mean, it's been done in a few rumbles. Mm-hmm. Right. So I mean, like, even when people don't get knocked out, like, Chris Jericho is, like, sitting, laying in the corner, like, mm-hmm. this, like, yeah. the, whole the whole time. The whole time. Yeah. But, anyways. So, um, it's been reported that each Rumble match will feature 10 superstars from NXT, Raw, and SmackDown, but that has not been confirmed yet. So That'll be cool. It'd be dope as a bitch. I think they got 14 people already. And it is kind of split already, like 7-7. Oh, Raw, SmackDown, even though that's not something that they're throwing out there, but that's probably what they're going to do. Wait, is Raw and SmackDown getting their own individual Rumbles? No. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like, right now, it's 14 people confirmed, and they're like, it's like 7-7 apiece. I got you. So, so there'll be a men's and a, uh, a men and a women's rumble. Mm-hmm. So there'll be two rumbles. And I think Baszler might show up for the rumble, but we'll we'll have a rumble pod. Yeah, we'll see. We'll talk about the rumble. Speaking of the rumble, it's that time again for the annual Tech File Royal Rumble pool. So if you would like to enter, please uh, at me at the pod uh, DM. Comment on a picture. Send a smoke signal. Right. Like, just contact us in some way. Say you want an entry. Uh, we'll raffle off a uh, swag package. Swag uh, package. Yeah. No no fee to enter. Just uh, just give me your names. And you'll we'll post a list uh, before the Rumble. So you know what number you need to be rooting for. Um, for those that are new here, the Royal Rumble <laughs> pool is really simple. Mm-hmm. You're assigned a number. If the person that enters the Rumble at that number... Wins the match, you win the the swag package. Swag package. If we have enough to do two, um, we'll do two. Otherwise, you get the same number for both pools, and we'll thug it out that way. For sure. Yeah. NFL retirements. I was like, where are we? Okay. Chicago, offensive lineman Kyle Long. Buffalo linebacker Lorenzo Alexander. Former Chargers tight end Antonio Gates. I ain't gonna hold you up. I thought Antonio Gates retired. Already. He always leaves the door open. Yeah. I thought like when, when it came out today, like he officially retired. I was like, I thought he'd been gone. I was like, oh, yeah, I already had made my peace with him not playing football <laughs> yeah. no more. Clearly, he hadn't. I know. Yeah, that's, yeah, it was on him. Yeah, his own time. Um, Conor McGregor. <laughs> he got a fight this weekend. Uh, he that shit came out of nowhere. It, yeah, ish. But they've been they've been promoing it for a little bit now. But um, I want to. I hate myself because I want to see it too. Like it's like it's gonna be on ESPN Plus. It's pay per view though. Like it's ESPN pay per view. You still gotta pay the pay per view price. Um, <laughs> so Conor McGregor will be going against Donald Cerrone on January 18th on ESPN Plus. Uh, this will be his first fight since losing to Khabib. Khabib. Uh, I, I knew Khabib. Just, just like me, that, that's all you need. <laughs> okay, it's like Giannis, Khabib, you know, uh, who's still undefeated. Um, on October 6, 2018. Are you excited to see Conor fighting again? I, I would like, if I can get to the fight, I would love to see the fight. I'm going go somewhere, go somewhere, go somewhere to find a fight. Walk your nice my habit. I might buy it myself. Why would you buy it? Well, you go. <laughs> All right, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we can talk about this. We'll, off we'll, get your we'll chickens right, get your right, right. <laughs> I need to, um, yeah, I need to check on a couple things. But uh, I, I would be excited to see Conor, just to see what happens, if he still got it. Because we've seen what happened last time. A megastar left the ring. I'm I'm talking Ronda. When she left, and came she lost. Back. She came back. Everybody was like, "Okay, let's see what we got." And, and it she was, lost. It was a repeat. I'm hoping it's not the same thing, mm-hmm. but we'll see. I'm, I'm kind of curious. It's like, okay, does McGregor still kind of? So you want to see Conor win? Actually, I just want to see him fight. Okay, you just want to see if he's still. Yeah, I it. just want to see what happens. Okay, uh, whether he win or lose makes me no never mind. <laughs> I just really wanted to see how he fights still. Uh, Penn State back on that bullshit. I seen that today. That shit was crazy. Yeah. So, uh, former Penn State player Isaiah Humphreys has alleged that Coach James Franklin ignored violent hazing, violent and sexual hazing mm. on the Nittany Lions football team. Um, under Catsman were reportedly told, quote, I'm going to Sandusky you. Come on, man. The fuck? Like, they should have burned that program to the ground the first oh, wow. time around. And exactly. here we go. They still doing stuff. They crazy. still messing up. Like, you got to look crazy. The culture is terrible right. there. I'm going to look at somebody Horrible. weird. Like, if you like, I want to go to Penn State. Like, what the, what are you For on? what? Mm-hmm. They said this, the federal lawsuit, like, name a couple players that's still there, too. Like, the star players. Um, mm. They said that they forced him out the program. They said him and his dad made reports to the uh, – 
to like the the individual agencies, like the mm-hmm. sexual assault people on campus and stuff. They said they did, they did their own investigation, turned around, was like, yeah, we ain't got nothing for you. Um, ran him out the program. They said when he tried to transfer, they was making phone calls, t- talking bad about him to all their superiors, so he couldn't really do nothing. Like, Damn. I was like, that this is some wild shit, dog. And of course, on social media, like Penn State should get they like. This should have been done yeah. you know, a long time ago. Like, yeah, y'all got to get all of them out of here, bro. Everybody got to go. Yeah, that's some wild shit, though. Um, Last got, point. And uh, tennis player, we ju- I'm just going to assume on the pronunciation of this woman's name, if it ain't correct, I'm sorry to this woman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry uh, to this woman. Delilah Jakopovic. Uh, she quit the Australian Open, Matt quit and... Whoa. Okay. Anyways. Rewind again. <laughs> this is like a call. <laughs> <Australian Open. laughs> Thank you. Uh, tennis player Delilah Jakopovic quit an Australian Open match um, after experiencing a coughing fit and trouble breathing, um, which was caused by the ongoing wildfires in Yikes. Australia. So. Must have been like a qualifying match for the Australian Open. Yeah. Um, That's crazy. That's crazy. But she's like, the air was so thick, like, she couldn't mm. breathe. She said she usually does well in hot climates. It's just, like, it was, like, the air wow. was just, like, the air quality was so bad. Mm. So, you know, just, you know, shout, not shouts out, but, you know, good luck to all the people over there fighting fires. Yeah, and, for real. Yeah. <clears throat> they said that we uh, sent a bunch of firefighters over there to yeah, help combat that. that, too. Mm-hmm. You said they was doing um, uh, food drops to animals. It was cute. <laughs> like I didn't see that anyway. Like the animals were walking, I'm like, oh, like a carrot, and they'd be like, oh, cool. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like it's a carrot. Like it was, it was kind of cool to see that. But yeah, and I know like Australian, like people just around the world are kind of pitching in to help fight that, mm-hmm. including mm-hmm. some Australian NBA players like Patty Mills and Joe Ingles. Like I know mm-hmm. they're doing fundraising efforts, so if you can contribute and want to do so. Should. Let's do some blow the whistles. All right, now, that's enough out of you. You know what? Tee his ass up. We got a full slate. Almost. Three out of the four here. Well, Tim, you got a rant? I ain't got nothing to say. Well, I guess you just said what you had to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my blow the whistle this week is on the International Olympic Committee. Um, they announced recently that they were barring athletes from overt signs of protest which includes taking a knee or, you know, raising a fist Mm -hmm. um, during the upcoming 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Um, I don't have to explain why that's bullshit. It just just is. Mm -hmm. Fuck them. That was a short tweet. Mm -hmm. Wait, shouldn't it be me? If you want to. Oh, we're doing it. I just put it in order that it was on the sheet. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm blowing a whistle on the New York Knicks because they cheat. (laughs) (laughs) They cheap. You know how teams be at half have, have halftime. Like we just said, yeah, we, we like, saw Hayes hey, doing a halftime show. Apparently, he was shooting for a uh, all expenses paid trip to Paris mm, for, and, for the bus game. For one, that's dope. Although I think I would have rather had ten thousand dollars. Put this in group but, right now. Huh? I think I would rather have ten thousand dollars too. But different teams give different things away if you hit a half court shot. Mm-hmm. The Knicks. Start with what the Lakers do. Isn't it ten thousand oh, dollars? No. I'm sorry. The Lakers, somebody the somebody hit a shot at the Lakers game for half court for $100,000. Damn. I forgot the zero. The Bucks, I want to say there's this like 1000 5000 and 10000 for half court, right? I think it's 5000 I think it's 1000 for the half court. For the How Bucks. much is it for the free throw? 100? I think 100, 100 500, 500 and 1000. Yeah. Okay, well, we ain't got that much money. Mm. Um, <laughs> we ain't the Knicks, Knicks, I mean, at least that's cash, though. Like, you get cash. the full, well, I mean, minus taxes, but. Mm. The Knicks were offering $1,000, but in scratch-off tickets. Well, get the. F- you got to spend all that time scratching all them scratch-offs off. <laughs> yeah, get the fuck out of here. You know how much dust going to be in your house by the time you finish scratching $1,000 worth of scratch-offs? Scratch-offs, bro. And scratch off. The dude scratched them too. He scratched all of them, and he said he got five hundred off of them. You had a thousand dollars <laughs> worth. Goddamn, a thousand dollars worth got you five hundred in real time. Not including all, all the time, time and effort. Well, I was saying all the effort you put it to get that five hundred. 
which is really a bad uh, advertisement for the lottery, which is the whole point of them sponsoring the thing in the first place. Mm-hmm. It looks bad. Because it's like, if you, sp- yeah, I, I'm going to spend $1,000 to win 500 Yeah. He scratched through 200 of them just to win that 500 Man, fuck that. Oh, so he ain't finished the scratch-offs yet. That was all of them. They were oh. $5 tickets. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. So that's all he had. $200. 200, 200 lottery tickets. tickets. To win five hundred dollars, that cost him a thousand. Yeah, so I'm blowing what's on New York Knicks because that don't make no sense. Garbage. Do better for your halftime giveaways. <clears throat> That's like the LOL. Like I don't know, did your daughter play with LOL dolls? Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah, so like I the new r- fucking racket, like they get you to buy these little toys. They're like ten, fifteen dollars a piece, but it's like a surprise, so you don't know exactly what you're getting. <laughs> so like you 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 buy the thing, like a McDonald's they open Happy it, Meal. No, you know what you're getting for a Happy Meal. Like, you don't know which one it is. Well, yeah, okay. It's like a Happy Meal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't know what toy but you're you, going to get. Yeah, but you open it up and, like, they make it a collection. So, like, you just have to keep buying these things until you until happen you get to get, them. like, all the the whole collection. So, if your kid wants a certain one, you can't just go buy it. You just got to keep buying them until they get it. That's trash. McDonald's. They probably stole the concept from them. That's garbage. My mom used to get pissed at me because I used to go <clears> to McDonald's <throat> just to get the toys because mm-hmm. like, like a Power Rangers. This is like, the only one they She said. started oh, going God. and being like, listen, can I just buy the toy? Please. Like, I'll just give you whatever, however much you want. Just let me buy it. And they were like, all right. The mini babies from McDonald's end up coming in. Uh, I know. A lot of money. Worth a lot of money. Can Beanie Babies. Your blow the whistle though. Um yeah, my blow the whistle is on um everybody jumping down Lamar, um, Lamar Jackson's throat. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> like after he had a bad game after first of all he, he didn't have that bad game that's bad what game. I'm saying that's, yeah. the, that's what I was gonna say he didn't even have a bad game but I heard people like on TV on Twitter all this saying that this this puts a damper on mm-hmm. the season that he had like this has n- this proves that he <laughs> his MVP was fraud exactly was this I just don't it get it, dude. No, it it made no fucking sense. And for the it, record, like, mm-hmm. no MVP has won a Super Bowl since 1999. There you go. Please continue. He literally put every fucking game he was out there playing, he literally put everything on the field. Yep. Like, literally. Like, he was a leader on the field, off the field. Yep. Like, I don't understand it, bro. Like, the man ran for over, what, 1,200 yards. Just hate And he only threw six interceptions and had, like, I think it was, like, 36 <laughs> touchdowns. Just hate And, like, 30, like 3,100 yards. Like, I don't get it, bro. Stop <laughs> hating. Just y'all, y'all couldn't wait for this nigga to lose, bro. <laughs> they couldn't. They was y'all couldn't wait for him to lose. If he wasn't playing, wouldn't nobody even be thinking or talking about the Ravens? Yeah. So, there you have it. Hating ass right. niggas. <laughs> Take that five in. Five, four, three, two, one. Tech Top 5. Last week, we did Franchises two of the Decade. Ago. Or two weeks ago. I forgot. It's been a while. Do we, do we have a poll that did week? Did we? I don't think we had a poll. I ain't had a poll. <laughs> My bad. Hey, Why it's you a new looking year. At me like we, looking at everybody. Hey, I'll show a little bit. Did we have one? <laughs> <laughs> it was all shit. I thought we switched roles and shit. But, uh, what? <laughs> Trading places? But no, it's, yeah, it's a new year, yo. Yo, so bear with me, you know. <laughs> I'm gonna have one up. New Year, same can. My goal, y'all help me out too. My goal is to have a poll up by either Thursday or Friday. So if y'all don't see it by Friday, just hit me like, yo, bro, where the poll at? All right? Dwayne's good at that. Dwayne do it. Um, Triple T, he do it too. So y'all help. You know, Rick, I know you listening, bro. Shame his ass. Just just let me know, like, bro, where the poll at? I'll get it up. Matter of fact, we drop drop Wednesday. Have it up by Thursday. There we go. Thursday. Thursday, I have it up. I'll have it up by Thursday evening for you guys. Next day. Next day air. Yeah, if it's not. Make sure you let me know. I'm just gonna take that win though. No, yes, that was that's not gonna happen. I don't it, did nobody win. I don't know. I don't remember either. I don't remember I this week though, we're doing top college football players of the C or Jesus, the BCS college football. Why? Why would I do that? Let me re- <laughs> can I get a rewind, please? <laughs> Mad at myself. This week we are doing the top <laughs> college football players of the BCS CFP era. You know that's since 1998. I don't know why my brain decided to start spelling out one of the, <laughs> like, don't make no sense. <laughs> Anyways, Tim. Um, so, I'm going to go with number five. I got, uh, Eric. Okay. I'm not mad at that. Mad no, at fuck it was. He was, he was so, co- dog, Eric was a monster, dog. I, he was one of my favorite DBs of all time, like, seriously. Mm-hmm. Like, when, uh, Pittsburgh had Troy, I was on Eric team. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I was like, duh, we finna get money over here. Like, that's, I was a Baltimore Raven fan at the time, too, still. I was really uh, confused. Okay. I guess. <laughs> Troy Palomalo. Yeah. I'm sorry. Tw- yeah, yeah. Pittsburgh had Troy. Um, I was thinking Pitt, like, University of Pitt. I'm like, oh, speaking of University of Pitt, Larry Fitzgerald. <laughs> Number four. There you go. Um, Probably yeah, greatest uh, hands damn near of all time. Because yeah, <laughs> Larry was snatching shit, shit yeah. from fucking the moon, bro. Yeah. Like, it was some wild stuff. Larry was cold, cold. Um, number three, I'm going to go with AP. Okay. Yep. I like that. So my <laughs> list is going to be devoid. Uh, like, AP was, even as a true freshman, mm-hmm. yeah. Adrian Beast. Peterson came in the game. Like, Beast. madman, bro. Number two, I'm going to go with Tim Tebow. Hmm. I yes, like, sir. I like where you're going. Yes, sir. I like where you go. Tebow got Tebow's there. Tebow's there. He's a fucking winner. Number one, I'm going <laughs> for me personally. <laughs> yeah, he was, bro. He was. he was like he couldn't the fucking kid, lose. He's a fucking winner. The way that you said, and then he was spinning <laughs> Jesus and shit. Exactly. Like, bro, everybody fucked with you him. You couldn't hate him, bro. Well, at least if you did, you was condemned to hell. Hey, but anyways, exactly. <laughs> you don't like Tebow, you don't like Jesus. You about to right? Say something wild, ain't you? No, number one, I got Reggie Bush. Okay, you you good. Reggie yeah. was my favorite player. Duh, like, Reggie was... Cu- That's the the motherfucker player. running full speed and just stop. <laughs> just fucking stop. The whole team fly by. And the motherfucker go the other direction. Like, he would run 90 yards behind the line of scrimmage and then run up the field 100. <laughs> well, Reggie was cold. I fucked with Reggie. Like Human highlight cold. reel, for real. Yeah, I agree with that. I want to preface this by saying, like, this gave me an opportunity to remember some people, mm-hmm. like... It was some cold players mm-hmm. on this. Yeah. Like, um, so, like, once we're done with our list, like, I want to read off, like, my honorable mentions. But uh, five, I got Mike Vick. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like, Virginia Tech. again, talking yeah. about, like, that freshman year, much like Adrian Peterson, like, mm-hmm. just came out the gate. Just, like, he changed everything. everything. Like, yeah. man, I just wish he would have won that national championship. But anyway, uh, four, Cam Newton. Like, he was a one year wonder, but that I one year. Kid. Yeah. yeah, at Auburn, that was a magical season. Man. <laughs> and, like, I've seen people compare, like, Joe Burrow to Cam this year, and it is, like, it's a comparison, like, mm-hmm. out of nowhere, but, like, the team that he drugged to a national championship, like, Charles Barkley says, like, $100,000 for Cam Newton was the greatest investment of all time. Because, <laughs> <laughs> like, that was, like, the cheapest uh, national championship ever. Mm-hmm. Um, three, Vince Young. Yeah. Vince had a great, great college uh, yeah. years. <clears throat> Not just the jank game, years. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> um, two, Tim Tebow. One, Reggie Bush. And there you have it. You're going to hear some of the same names repeated. Yeah. So I ain't got to here. I ain't got to uh, tell you why they're on this list because it's been here. discussed. Uh, number five, I got Larry Fitzgerald. Mm-hmm. Number four, I got Adrian Peterson. Mm-hmm. Number three, I got Tim Tebow. Okay. Number two, I got Vince Young. Mm-hmm. Number one, I got Reggie Bush. Yep, damn near the same exact list. Just flip flop few. <laughs> flip flop. <laughs> um, I'm surprised you got that off. Huh? Cleanly. Flip yeah, flop a few. I definitely yeah, I do. That's uh-huh. a tongue twister. Yeah, yeah I'm yeah. out here. Um, <laughs> Damn it, <extra> tire. <laughs> <laughs> um, Larry Fitzgerald, number four. I'm five of me in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you said flip flop food. Exactly. <laughs> but then you're number four. Now I'm flipping the numbers for real. Wait, wait right. what was it, Tim? Period in the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, um, number five. That was like the old spot. The, yeah. Oh, the, yeah. All that was for real. But um, <laughs> reminiscing like a motherfucker. Um, F5, Larry Fitzgerald. Number two, Adrian Peterson. Number <laughs> three. <laughs> What? Right, I up again? <laughs> Damn. Oh, what? Yeah, chill out. Damn. <laughs> what I said? in the. I said it again for real? Part two. You went to two. Man. Damn. Damn. Well, what? Five to two. <laughs> From wow, five God to damn. two. Hey, man, chill out, bro. It never Wait, happened. why he really looked like Rick James? Like, I, I hit you tonight? <laughs> <laughs> From five to two. From five back. to God, damn. two. We've been here a bit ago. I did it again, yes. <laughs> well, back. I ain't saying numbers next to this time. Shit. Numbers throwing me off. You got to. You have to. Nigga, they know I'm going five to one. Shit. No, they don't. They go, you going five to two. Hey, they going to know dog, <laughs> God damn it. Shit. We ain't done this shit in a minute, God damn it. Try to get the rest off. The first one of the year. Give me a break. Jesus Christ. Damn. Lay for his girl. Which one, what number is he? <laughs> Five, nigga. Okay, four. four. Adrian Peterson. Three. Vince Young. Two. two. Tim Tebow. One. Reggie Bush. We all here. There you have it, motherfuckers. Jesus Christ. Laugh at me again. I'll smack all you number motherfuckers. Five. <laughs> number two. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. How you Ooh. him? Okay, knock some of the honorable mentions off for us. Uh, Ricky Williams, Paul. William yeah. Gahey, Sean yeah. Taylor, yeah. Daniel yeah. Thomason, Julius Peppers, yeah. Manti yeah. Teo was called. Manti Teo! Yeah. Darren McFadden. Run DMC. Uh, who was he? he was called Arkansas. Trent Richardson. Oh, yeah. Trent Richardson yeah. was called. Lamar. Um, Andrew Luck. LeVar Arrington. Yeah. Calvin Johnson. I forgot about him. Jadavian Clowney, JJ Clowney Rod, was a monster. monster. Saquon, Jameis. Clowney had moments. Gurley was a monster at Georgia. Yeah, yeah. Gurley was. That's why his knees left. He left his knees in Georgia. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. Feel like that's a pause. <laughs> but... <laughs> God damn. <laughs> they ran that motherfucker to the ground, bro. They yeah. did. That's what I'm saying. Did like, he tear it twice? I think he did. You're making my knee hurt. Bro, like... 12,000 yards in high school? Make sure y'all join our Facebook. <laughs> <day. laughs> <laughs> they running that motherfucker to death. <laughs> Make sure y'all join our Facebook group to be able to vote on the poll uh, on who had the best list. No mm. names listed. No names. Just, uh, Just the list. You might forget who said what. Just vote on the list. It don't matter. I mean, especially this week, y'all, three of y'all had the same list. Mm. Damn, man. It's tricky. Mm. Anyways, that's the show this week. Yes. Happy 2020, everybody. 2020. Welcome to the new era. Of the new tech file. file. We out here. <laughs> new and improved. Man, we was, man. This episode was. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It was a struggle for me. <laughs> <laughs> not gonna lie. Then I knocked that rust off. It was, exactly. We're not gonna lie. You missed a week and you just. Jesus Christ. You get sick for a little while and you just lose everything you had. Yeah. I had to get my legs back. Hey, I was like a baby calf. <laughs> 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 trying to saying. walk and shit like, oh, shit. <laughs> But yeah, we going we gonna keep uh, rolling out some new things for y'all this year. Indeed, we got some plans. Check and, the artwork. Uh, we uh, yeah, check the artwork. Shout out to the designer. Shout out the Eric J. <laughs> Wait, what? The mm. art, our artwork. Oh, we using that one? I thought we were. And then yeah, why we're you not saw using it? it? No, I was just saying because we got a new oh. logo. Like. I like yeah, it. it. I, was, I, I mean, we can. Too. Cool. Oh, I was, I was, I was, yeah. We got a new logo, though. But, right. I thought you were shouting her out. Like, we you definitely know. got a new logo. And uh, shout out to Elastic Designs for designing our new logo as well. Oh, yeah. Thank you. You guys looking good. We got, like, the we got three different logos. We going to be rolling all of them out. Oh, we yeah. got a package. We got I can't a brand. We get this nigga. shit on some gear, B. We out here. For sure. We got to lace ourselves first, though, before we yeah. lace Oh, up. absolutely. Okay. But yeah. You do be the only. If you want to follow me on social media, you can catch me. Wait a minute. On Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and PSN at Camille Monet, C A M I L L E M O N A E because your mom is fancy. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> at Bucks Burner, sir. That's all you get. Yeah, damn right. Um, everyday underscore gentleman on Instagram, K Harris two sixteen on Twitter and Snapchat. And it's your boy, T I M K I N Z, the number three, aka S, catch him, aka Mr. Give It To Me. We'll see y'all next week. Oh, you left it. Oh, he said, I, he I said, said he I was, was leaving it. He said he was. was. Okay. Kudos, sir. Kudos. All righty then. It really is a new era. Exactly. All right. Even could bring something else over back. <laughs> All right, then, job. Dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> this has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media. Media.